Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I am your androgynous Android game show host from the future. Caster, it is a pleasure to see you all this evening. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're all doing well on this auspicious Thursday. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. My operator and I are hard at work doing a wide variety of different things going on in our lives. We're both very, very busy people. Um, and actually, as a result, uh, to try and both maintain a regularityness of this channel, because that's actually kind of important, um, and also, like, not break ourselves, trying to promise too many things at once. We've been, uh, uh, like, fixing the kind of stuff we'll be doing uh, in terms of streaming. So we're kind of looking into streaming once a week at the moment. Um, what is currently called uh, Top Deck Thursdays, as you can see below in the doobly-doo below. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because, you know, we actually have a, a pretty wide variety of card games uh, that we want to stream on channel. And uh, making time for that specifically, I think, is a good way uh, to go and engage with the Isle and continue to make fun content and, you know, connect with people and see how they're all doing, but also not breaking uh, myself to, to do that. <laughs> you know how it be. Life of a streamer is a complicated one. Life of all content creators is complicated. Um, but yes, I, I held a poll, actually, uh, for uh, what game we would stream today um, between the Pokemon trading card game GB2 because we're approaching the last third of that, last we played, uh, and Voice of Cards and Inscription and ran a poll. Uh, it was a tie uh, between uh, Pokemon Card and uh, Inscription. So I made the executive decision, the executive decision to uh, go and play Inscription this evening. And uh, we will play uh, Pokemon Cards next Thursday. Indeed, indeed. Um, if you've been following the channel uh, from before, uh, you will know that we actually streamed the, the demo of Inscription when that was around. Um, plowed through that, enjoyed it immensely, enjoyed it, enjoyed it immensely, and we're looking to uh, go and play it uh, properly tonight, just casually. Um, uh, everybody who's been putting time into it so far uh, has been incredibly complimentary uh, about it. And also been kind of like, I can't reveal anything about the details of why I like this game, which is, you know, um, nice to have a game that's supposed to be that kind of a specific experience. It did make me kind of wonder whether I should stream it at all, uh, whether it should be a kind of like, hey, uh, go play this yourself rather than watching me play it. Uh, but, you know, if you didn't catch the demo or you're still maybe not convinced on what it what the game feels like and you want to go and uh, play it for yourself well then that's what this is for let me let me go and uh uh play this uh and give you the experience uh to see if you want to go and play it yourself or if you want to ride it out that's cool too you know uh this might be a really entertaining game to watch but maybe not your personal cup of tea to play or if you end up uh getting in and following along in the stream and you're like ah oh, shit Shit, I need to play this now. I need to play this now and I don't want it spoiled for me by a, um, a AI with a fabulous flat top on the internet. Um, then I'm entirely okay <laughs> uh, with you stepping away so you don't spoil yourself. Uh, there's definitely friends of mine who've been streaming games that I adore and uh, I've been kind of like, ah, oh, I'm so glad you're streaming this. I cannot watch you. I cannot watch you play this. I will I will, I will, will cry if I watch you uh, play it. I, um, uh, friends of mine were like playing through Psychonauts 2, uh, which my operator and I uh, finished in our own time the other day and enjoyed immensely. So I get the vibe. I get the vibe. I get the vibe. Anyway, uh, with all of that out of the way, I would just like to go and double check uh, that my levels are good. Uh, please do let me know if my voice is adequate and sounding appropriately roboty. And we're also gonna sounding great. Good evening, regular Joe. Thank you, thank you very much for for, for checking in. Uh, we are gonna go and go and yeah, 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 yeah. And then can we also look at game footage, please? Sick. Okay. Right, so, uh, oh, actually, actually, this is probably going to be uh, louder than expected. So let me go in there. Uh, Master Volume. 
to, to there will do. Uh, we don't need it to be paused when unfocused. Yeah, right. There we go. Hopefully this should be fine. The voice isn't robotic, but the sound levels are good. The voice is not robotic. Excuse me? This happened before, uh, at least uh, with uh, in voice mod, the, the software I am using to make my voice robotic. Uh, uh, it's set to that. The fact that that's not passing through is a pain. Uh, but to be honest, but to be honest, if it's not doing that, then that's fine. We don't need to go and uh, stress ourselves out. Oh, actually. Check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two. Ah, oh, is my voice to like? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right. <laughs> within within voice mod, there is a separate little button uh, that turns the voice changer on and off. Apparently, separate to whether I want to actually have my voice be clean or not. Uh, fantastic technology is amazing. I wondered why when we were doing the charity stream the other week, uh, even though I had this set up, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't vocal filtering on when I was listening to the VOD back. But hey, hey, this is the nature of streaming. Breaking kayfabe to just tech the, check that my technology is working. Uh, we can't start a new game. Oh dear, so we're going to have to continue. A lot of this is going to be very familiar to the people that watch me play the demo. I assume, I wonder if this the start of this game is going to be the, exactly the same as the demo or not. It feels like it's the kind of game that might not be necessarily. There we go with those spooky eyes. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Oh yeah, is this to? Stoats cost one blood and sacrifices must be made. An honourable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your, sta your stoat stands on the post. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Your stoat dealt one damage. Added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. With my creepy, creepy hand. One of the things that I uh, took away, I think, emotionally from the demo is how terrifying this dude's hands are. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. This means your stoat's health is too less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. How dull. Hmm. The wolf demands two sacrifices. Unnecessary. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card for your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. Ugh, useless. Hmm. Yeah, because it's unopposed, we'll do that. Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. You've won this match. But they won't all be so easy. I know that. 
I know that. You're a cheating bastard. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing I remember from this game. The uh, Game Master sure does love encounters that one-sided. Let me recall your story. Hmm. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. The caustic adder, the damage from its poison bite is always lethal. You may only gra only one may grace your paltry deck. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of this forest seem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in the bottle. Break it in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement that will allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. You were ambrous while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play, I get it, but maybe. You'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. Let me see how many moves it. You may now see my moves ahead of time. The wolf cub. In one turn, it will turn into a wolf. Okay, let's play a scroll. And also play a cat to sacrifice. Here we go. <laughs> Stoke does love to chat a lot. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Uh, we can see if we can get a wolf out of this. Yeah, all right. We can keep them for now. I don't want to burn a squirrel on this. It's not that important. Uh, so we're just going to uh, attack with that one damage for free. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! Huh. My, my bat flew right over your stoat. Okay. We are going to play a squirrel and then we're going to play a wolf, sacrificing the cat and the squirrel to play the wolf. Uh, going to attack step. Uh, draw a squirrel, play the squirrel, use the river snapper, sacrificing the cat and the squirrel to put a nice shafty blocker and then start dealing disgusting damage. Uh, well, might as well pull a card, although it's not necessary. Let's go. Ah, you prevailed and tracked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. More cards for our deck. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Uh, I have learned uh, how powerful being able to survive a turn to get a free wolf for one energy is, especially with cat as sacrificable thing. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You stumbled onto some strange stones in the mist. 
You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. I... So, so, uh, cat's pretty useful and it would be nice to put cat's sacrifice effect on stoked so I have something that both deals damage and is an infinite sacrifice target. I have no idea what would happen uh, by putting time delay on something that doesn't age. Like what does, ha what happens in that case? Hmm. Actually, Joe, since you're tuning in, since you're tuning in, let me know. What happens if you apply the aging effect to a card that isn't like Wolf Cub? What, what happens to it? Does it just gain strength after one turn or does it actually change into something else? I'm interested in gaming the system this evening. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Let me, um... I mean, this journey is essentially an easier one for free, right? Fuck it, let's go meta. Pick you, absolutely. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. What well, nana? A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. And the thing is, uh, this is just the stoat realizing that it's just going to be sacrificed over and over again for my deck strategy, but you know, it's fine. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. I'm cheating. He's completely insane, you see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Well, about that. Uh, let's see actually what you're summoning. A bat and a coyote that flies. It will attack over my characters once for free. Let's see, all right. Uh... Back on the board. Uh, need I remind you, your items may help. It's fine, I'm not in dire straits yet. My totem has granted the Coyote the power of flight. now, I think. There we go. Mm -hmm. The draw one card. Oh, perfect. Uh, we're going to play this, sacrificing you, put that on the field. Attack for a ton of damage. Doom, 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 doom. You're one damage away from winning. Well, uh, sorry for you, but I'm about to go and get a lot of over damage. <laughs> Cheating motherfucker. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. <laughs> three options this time. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare to attack it. The proud wolf, a vicious contender. The reviled skunk, 
Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. What's this little pin here? I guess it's suggesting that I've got one already, or it's like an additional reward for picking a thing. I like the idea of revenge damage. That's definitely going to be useful. And it is a one summon card. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You notice the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm. Well, it's fine, friend, because I don't need you to hit more. I need the porcupine to hit more. The fire warmed the poor porcupine, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the porcupine away from the fire and left. Another combat! What is this? A grand fur, uh, which blocks flying things and has three health. Uh, we have a grizzly, which uh, deals six damage, which is four damage with six health. I do have the river snapper in my hand, so we can probably make that happen. Um... Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we are going to place a squirrel, get the wolf cub. Not ideal, uh, but it is what it is. God, four damage. Ugh, awful. Um... Hmm. Shit, not the card I need. We're gonna have to. Otherwise we just lose! <laughs> Do I cheat here? I think I wanna. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. Motherfucker! Okay. Ow. I needed to do that, otherwise I would have lost. Fuck me. Okay. Uh... I've put myself in a really shitty position here. If I had the stoat in my opening hand, this would be very, very different, but we're uh, unfortunately a little SOL here. I guess this fight is specifically unfair to make me... Mm, I'm mad about it, though. Ah! Right-clicking stuff will actually let me see the information upon the card. Mm -hmm. um... We're gonna have to block a source of four, otherwise we're, uh, we're done. Ah, damn it! I just lose. I just lose. Impossible to survive that one. Yeah. You lost. Use this as a learning opportunity. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. 
That was an unfair fight, friend. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Mmm. And we have some interesting mist puzzles here. Uh, that are slightly different uh, to the ones before in the demo. They're not the same. Bring it here. Oh. Probably shouldn't have done that. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. And another cat. Hey! Good evening, Harley Melanated. How are you doing? How are you doing? We are playing Inscription, which is a horror uh subversive deck builder rustic adventure yes it is quite spooky uh the creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power now the end of the owner's turn a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil nice okay okay Uh, let's take another one sacrifice creature before we get to a boss fight that I will immediately struggle with. A rock may get you out of a hard place. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Choose one. Hmm. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Absolutely, I will take scissors. It's bleeding yields three blood, if you can ignore the bleeding. And a spare scroll, please. Feeling overburdened enough with three full items, you carried on. The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. How is my voice against the volume of that clanging? I will readjust it if it is inappropriate. In the distance, you can hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw! Twas the prospector! He's doing the prospector again? Easy boss, the mill's key. The pack mule with five health. And the coyote with two attack. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is fine. This spot? You sure? Uh, sure as I ever was. Let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, I will drag one of these. I'll place a squirrel down. Uh, sacrifice the stone and the squirrel for the wolf. And uh, attack this turn. We are going to go and get another squirrel to play in that spot. Sacrificing the squirrel and my stoke friend here. Infinite stoked! 
Let's go. Annoyingly, annoyingly, uh, we're gonna uh, run into an issue very soon, but it's fine, it's fine. Yes, good cards. Dang that, my mule! Uh, this is fine. I want... Hmm. Card from my deck, please. We are going to keep the cat. The cat is super useful. Uh, we are going to play the squirrel here. And then, let me see. Sacrifice it for skunk. Yeah. Yeah, because we're one point from winning, I think. Oh, that didn't count. Okay. All right. Hmm. Uh, let's go draw a card. Hopefully that's a wolf. It's a wolf cub. Okay, that's fine. Sacrifice this, put the wolf cub down, and attack. Damn it. Okay, okay. Begging you, let me live. Uh, we're gonna have to. I really don't want to have to do this, but fine. Uh, we're gonna go for the sparrow to attack with four, and then hopefully close the fight out. Yes. Okay. Excellent. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards! G-g-gold! I've struck gold! Alright. This is it. Uh, we are gonna have to get pretty aggressive here, because I've lost all my wolves, annoyingly. Very annoying. Take one of these, put one down. Uh, to sacrifice for porcupine, I think. Y yeah. Let me take the boulder and uh, use the boulder to block that space. Okay. Get him! Place the creature is placed opposite to an empty space. The card bearing this visual will move to the empty space, I see. Okay. Uh-huh. Hmm. I've put myself into a very annoying situation here. 
but we have infinite squirrels now, so it's fine. Two damage here will clinch the fight for me, I think. Yes, okay. All right, all right, all right. First try. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You were the first in a while to overcome a boss. Well, I am trained by the demo. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. A largely unimpressive specimen. Fledgling. Uh, this card will grow into a more powerful form one turn after the board. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it will become a weird bug next turn. But it does have three health, which is actually pretty good. The idea of a 7-7 seven, seven is astounding. I do not have that much blood to make it even work. Uh, we would need a very uh, solid kind of like sacrifice engine to make that happen and we don't have that uh, so we're just going to go for strange lava i think with the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears you carried onwards hmm. the rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or sliver. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Uh, I don't get to see what that is. Hmm. I also need to restock my items. Yeah, we get a strengthening effect up there, so that's fine. Let's add more cards to my deck. The Bountiful Warren. It spawns a rabbit when it's played. The card bearing the sigil is played. A rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. and does not require any blood to make. Good to know. Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. When the card bearing the sigil submerges itself during... A, a card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. That sounds bad. The watchful bullfrog leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Other ways of doing a sacrifice engine, huh? Is it every turn? No, no, no. Just the once. Okay. I, in that case, will go for Bullfrog, I think. Uh, let's restock on items. Items, as it turns out, are super good. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Oh, yes. Uh, free Squirrel, please. And another Free Squirrel. Hmm. Bullfrog that does one damage every turn. Not a huge concern. All right, let's go.
Okay. Uh, what have we got here? Alpha. Uh, strengthens adjacent units. Uh, but it only has two health. Let's uh, force a victory really quickly. We gotta press those advantages. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> How brutal of you! Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you uh, set up a, a a pro strat against me. Got to kill you early. So it was. Let's see. I dealt two damage the first turn, and four damage on my second turn, and that was enough unimposed damage to win the fight for me. Um, I see. Damage racing, I guess. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. An adder. Apotheosized goat. The truest offering. Sacrificing it grants three blood. Death touch options are very useful. Oh, uh, death touch! If you're not uh, a Magic: The Gathering player, uh, what that means is any damage that uh, monster deals is enough to kill the thing it's fighting, uh, regardless of how strong the other thing is. Really annoying to fight, but having one on our side is really useful. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's a room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. No way, dude says. Hmm. Our walls are in pretty good shape. I'm kind of looking at either the Skunk or the River Snapper as options to uh, boost uh, since uh, as defensive options them being able to actually deal damage back is actually a pretty big deal. Um, let's boost the Skunk, there we go. The power of the Skunk was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket he withdrew. Battle! All right, what you got going? Uh, these fly and dive. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, little spider. Hello, little spider friend. Hey, good evening, Virazone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I hope you're having a good one. And the coyote, okay. But they have very low health. Hmm. Oh, I need to, uh, Sacrifice for that. Okay. Wow. Okay. I can't believe I forgot the stream was today. They're called Top Deck Thursdays, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all good, though. It's all good, though. Uh, we are going to... Alright, yeah. I'm going to take a scroll. Uh, we're gonna place the scroll here. I'm gonna sacrifice that. To do this. Hmm. This is a very annoying deck that I'm fighting against. It seems. Uh, we are going to pull a card from the deck. Mm-hmm. There we go. Right. Uh, we, uh, thanks to playing the demo before, uh, we already have some solid strategies uh, for working our way through things. Um, so I, I am actually on to the second area of the game without dying, uh, which was actually pretty lucky of me. Right, that should be giving us a bit of a... 
Whoa. Uh. It's fine. I probably should have done this actually. Suffering. Um, we are gonna take Squirrel. Uh, we are going to. No, because they deal two damage a turn, and I'm dealing three damage a turn. So we're slowly winning the damage race little by little. So I'm going to hold on to the Squirrel actually. Because he's only do two damage, so I'm still winning, even if they uh, feel like they're trying to get ahead of me. Uh, that's not enough. But if I sacrifice the skunk, I can maybe win the fight now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm patient. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Um, let's see what this blood zone thing is. What do I get here? You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. One blood, two blood, three blood. Uh, I don't have any three blood units yet. Uh, I guess my deck is large enough for a three blood unit. Um, isn't terrible and would maybe count as a win condition, so. The monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficacy. A random card was the cost of three. What were you expecting? <laughs> Ooh, extra health. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, where the ten hungry eyes that surrounded it dampened the greeting. A warm creature by the fire enhance its health, said one. <laughs> Pick something else. That's fine. You don't need more health. Uh, wolf cub definitely could do with more health. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your wolf cub. Battle! Pushing our way through it now. All right, what you got going? We've got this coyote. We've got these kingfishers that are dealing one damage a turn. A strange larva. Well, because these attack over my head, I can play that for free. That's perfectly fine. I wonder if I want to use the time turner here or not. Nah, we're good. These attack for free. Which is annoying. Oh! It got only slightly stronger. Fuck me. Um... We are going to have to use the time turner, otherwise we lose here. Uh, we're going to draw a card. Not the card I want. I'll pass my next turn. So this gets stronger still, huh? I'm obligated to pass. And now it is Mothman. I see. I see. Okay. Understood. <laughs> Understood. That hits for seven damage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> seven damage wins you a fight immediately. I understand. I understand. Okay.
He was stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his words. Care to look at me pelts? Take a pelt, free of charge. So it's like a blocking item that is worth one blocking damage, I see. See the quality? I do not understand what these things are supposed to do. I'm going to buy a golden pelt. Cool. Uh... Oh, do I actually have to spend the remainder? Hmm. You, you're leaving already? Please, consider my pelts! I don't understand what this is supposed to do! I don't understand! Uh buy another one i'll buy that and i've got yeah, okay and that's all i did to my deck i guess cool but thanks for your business the man assured you of the value of the pelts they appear to be useless in the fight but he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them ah so they clog up my deck but in exchange i can sell them for a buck ton more on the other side i see I see, I see, I see. Uh, let's go sacrifice something to thin my deck a little then. Um. Hmm. It would be useful to put the death touch on something that only had one... Hmm. Let's put that on. I can put it on these. How odd. How very strange. Um. The river snapper can now block flying things. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic, fantastic. And this is an elite, I'm guessing. Poo boy. Hmm. Wait, what? Excuse you? Ah. I held on to the extra life carefully this entire time, you bastard. Okay, fine. My boss battles as high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not. I'll let you keep the snook. <laughs> A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting flesh, fish, and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Hey, King Fisher. Well, if you let me summon two things. Let's go. Which fish hard choose? Oh, I see. He's gonna like sacrifice. 
something from my listings. Hmm. Fresher fish. Easy choose. Ah, so at the end of a turn, he'll like pull it away and kill it. New fish, easy choose. So I can do this. Take new fish, easy. Aha, you fool, you rank idiot. <laughs> Mine now, go fish. So that rabbit pelt was actually pretty useful after all, huh? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, let's see what's next in our hand. Hmm. And I have to kill you twice, huh? Let's uh, ride this out. Why are you cheating? Ugh, honestly, honestly, this- some game masters, some game masters. A warning, lest she cheats a little extra on your first run. Evidently so, evidently so. I was just all bears, it's just all flying bears. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Absolutely not! I don't have a time turner handy, otherwise I would have absolutely started that out. That would have been very funny. Yeah, can't can't do too much about that. Bastard. What a bastard. Ah, good fish. <laughs> and here I thought I could just keep partying. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your media deck. We can put them to good use. Please. Choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, uh... Hmm... I do want it to be a one mana card. Absolutely. But I wonder whether I want to keep this around for the time turning effect. Or the revenge damage actually ended up not proving to be that useful. So we'll, uh... The cost of one blood from the porcupine. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Well, I'm absolutely going to make a 4-6 for one mana. Four power and six health from the grizzly. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. And then... Uh, the lowering the enemy damage because then it becomes an astounding skirmish card. The sigil of Stinky from the Skunk. I never did ask you your name. Oh, well, this is the important question, everybody. What are we naming this card? Because we're definitely going to be having lots of cards named as we go. So uh, now is your chance. Now is your chance to go and name our first death card.
while I go and take a sip of my liquid cooling. I will let you decide among yourselves. Big stinky, there we go. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? <laughs> you do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful possum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Hi, Stoat. From the death of your creature, you gained one bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Squirrel. What's it? Three one. Okay. From the top, shall we? Oh. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's besides the safe. Oh, I can, uh... If a creature would attack a card bearing the sigil, it does not. Huh. That's very good. that has a game state of a squirrel in one slot, a raven in another slot, and two empty slots. We shall try and remember this for the future. It's moving. I don't know a code though, so interacting with that is probably not going to turn up too much. Wonder if that did anything. Hmm. Alright. Let's stop playing around. Let's go get a figurine. Oh, I have to pick this figurine, huh? Let us continue. Alright! Let's go deck building! The meagre coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? Four bones is a lot. And it's only when my creatures die. So that's actually, I don't think, a very good card. <laughs> the nefarious rattler. A brittle creature once passed its monstrous fangs. So when I was playing before and I was kind of like, hey, the enemy's cheating. Um, what kind of came to mind is that uh, it can summon the, the GM, the game master can summon um, pretty much any cards it wants for free just every turn you know, can summon bears every turn rattlers every turn uh, without having to do any sacrifices 
and that can put you in some really unfair circumstances. At least, at least the cockroach becomes an effective kind of like sacrifice engine. Mm, it costs four bones to do so, but at least it's something that I can keep summoning so I can uh, keep it in my hand even if my deck is thin. Coyote's two damage for four things having died previously doesn't seem very good. Uh, neither does the rattle is six for six things of three damage for six things having died. I don't think either of those are actually especially pretty good. Um, I don't know whether you used um, bone cards much in your runs, Joe. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Hmm. Some burn tokens for a rainy night. I would rather take the scissors. <laughs> There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Hmm. Wolf cub. Okay. Okay. That dies in one turn, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, we're gonna... That's fine. Uh, we're gonna take another squirrel. I'm gonna sack both of those squirrels for a wolf with three. Oh, you're out of cards. Okay. Um, I mean, we win the fight here, I think. But I guess overkilling is very useful here. If you desire it, you may stand now. It will allow me time to plan. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. The fact that this thing is still wiggling. Yeah, it's not... It's not wiggling in the pattern of any kind, so... Yeah, no. That was never going to be a thing. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh! Shoot! That has, like, additional gold teeth that can be removed. I see. I don't need that right now. Hmm. That's not going to unlock until I turn off enough candles here. This, I need to remove that knife at some point. Alright, alright. No sign of thing? Oh! I don't have anything in the information to go on off that either. So I can uh, I can wait patiently for now. 
All right, let's keep going. The regal moose. The creatures of the wild make way for it. Aha! It is me, Big Stinky. Oh, I can put the returns back to my hand effect on a card that doesn't cost bones. Actually, honestly, yes. Yeah? All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. I see. Well, let's do that uh, later. Flying sparrows. They stick around, though. Total misplay. Oh, calm down. Oof. Uh, we're gonna. Mm -hmm. Wow, seriously? But you come back to my hand! Yeah, I need to stress about nothing. is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. Uh, sure. I mean, I guess this means that we don't get any money on the other side of this match, but to be honest, that's fine. Uh, and the rule book, huh? Dial 273. Ah! Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that I encrypt. Is, is the state around? The stunted wolf? This madness must have had. Put that away. E. Oh, this is like a... a puzzle slider? And this is from... Hmm... So this is setting things up where I would have dealt 5 damage in total. 
but I assume there is like a different. Oh, what does this do? Yeah, cool. Thought so. Did fell death five damage. Got me. Got 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 got. I forgot I had put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Hmm. And then we have a more complicated one here. So we need to deal five damage. Things in the back row like this haven't been played yet. So I can remove it from the equation. This with me dealing two damage to this and it dies. Okay. Hmm. So if I did this, 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 this. Oh, this can't move back. I see it's locked. Hmm. Ah, good evening, good evening. Uh, sat down after work and had a surprise nap, but I'm here now. Heads up, these puzzles are going to be a bit confusing if you haven't seen all the abilities. Oh, that's true. Uh, this ability I haven't seen yet. I know what these two are, um, but you make a very good point. I don't know what that icon does yet. It was on the card that we just pulled, so we can go look it up, though. Loose Tail. Uh, when a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place. And a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Oh, and because attacks execute from left to right, you'd have to pay attention to the order attacks fire. Okay, got it. So under current circumstances, uh, if this attack went, because I can't put this guy back into his hand at all, uh, so if this attack fired, uh, it would deal, instead of dealing lethal damage to this, it would then jump to the right, blocking this from actually dealing any damage. So what I can do is slide this b I can slide this back into my hand, so this is now going unattacked. This would be, okay, okay. So because these are in yet to be in play and no one's attacking this, that would then deal one, four, five damage. Okay. <laughs> Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Ooh, nightmare mode ones. I see, I see. So I can work my way through all of these particular puzzle fights to gain new cards. Understanding. Yeah, it's like a card basis. That is exactly it. It's kind of like mist meets a deck builder. Um, I'm going to read what the... I'm not necessarily going to solve these now. I want to do another stage now that I have new cards in my deck. But let's go and read what the ant icon does. So when we want to go and challenge that later, we can go see what it's about. Ants. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants the owner has on their side of the... Oh, they are, um, like slivers, I guess. Uh, the value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants the owner has on their side of the table. Okay. Not solving it, just interested in seeing what this would mean. Um, so under current circumstances, uh, this would mean that these two cards have an attack value of two, because there are two ants. If I did this... Oh! If I did this, there would be an attack value of four. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Mirrors! Mirrors would definitely be a better equivalent. Thank you, Come and Go Tavern. I hope you're having a good evening. I hope you're having a good evening. Right. 
With that in mind, I will come back to these later. I'm sure they will give me some dope cards, but let's go and play with the toys that we've been given. The industrious beaver. When played, it constructs dams adjacent to it. So it creates blockers. Okay. The pernicious vulture, a tyrant of the skies. Hey, good evening, Cry Encrypted. Thank you for being a first time messenger on the Neon Caster Twitch channel. The Coyote. I don't like any of these cards. Hmm. So, uh, for those who haven't seen before, there are two uh, forms of like mana in this game. Uh, there is blood, which is the number of things you are sacrificing to cast it. So I would... Oh, this card game is Inscription. It is both a deck builder and a mist like escape room game uh, with horror and I think meta story elements. I've not run into the meta story elements yet, but we're looking forward to seeing those as we run into them. Uh, currently, we're doing a bit of the kind of actual deck builder side of things. So I'm currently being given an option of these three different cards to go and take uh, to proceed. I, however, am not a fan of any of them. Um, so blood drops are the number of cards you would need to sacrifice that are on the field. So I'd need to sacrifice two things uh, to play the beaver. Uh, the stuff that has bone requirements is the number of things that have died during the game so far. So if I had four things on my side of the field, if only my side of the field, killing his side of the field, the things don't count. So if four things on my side of the field had died, I can spend four bone tokens to summon the coyote. Um, which sounds good because I don't need to sacrifice anything on my side of the field extra. However, it seems that the, a lot of the bone based ones are really underpowered in terms of the amount of damage and health that they have. Um, having to kill four things on my side of the field for a 2-1 seems shitty. <laughs> it seems shitty. Uh, I think of all of these, the 3-3 three, three for 8 is okay, if only because I can sacrifice this and give something flying later. So we're going to take that. Uh, we already have three trinkets, so going here is pointless. Uh, this would let me sacrifice something to give an ability to something else, and this lets me power up something. Let's power up a card. Uh, are you are you much of a, a card game player, Cry Encrypted? Have you played any like Magic the Gathering or anything likely before? A warm creep warm a creature by the fire enhance its power, said a hungry survivor. <laughs> Stop this. Hmm. Oh, you have not. I see, I see, I see. I am a uh, pretty big card game fan. I enjoy card games quite a bit. Um, I have to think about what I will give one extra attack to. Uh, I could give one extra attack to the skink card. Hmm. That requires two sacrifices to cast. Let's boost up our friend. The fire warmed the stoat and enhanced its power. He suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your stoat in tow, you retreated into the woods. All right, let's do a battle. <laughs> you again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we're in deep this time. I do wonder why some places call them opossums and some places call them possums. Yeah, that's a that's a good question. I don't have... We do, in the UK, we don't have possums or opossums. They feel like a very American-only idea. Uh, so we have a squirrel that we can summon a stoat for. Actually, two different animals. I see. I see. Interessant. 
No way. Uh, let's go and summon the squirrel and then sacrifice that for the stoat. Keep me alive. Well, you are dealing two damage. Uh, and we're a fan of that shit. Hmm. Well, I don't need to keep you alive yet. What I can do is this. <laughs> and then with uh, two coins. Back in the game. Don't worry, Stoke. You'll be around next turn. And that does me zero damage, which is useful. You sure? The cards giveth and the cards taketh away from the stoat. Yes, I specifically gave the stoat the ability where if it dies, it comes back to my hand. So I can kill stoat off as many times as I want uh, if it is beneficial for putting new cards into play. So. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Cleanly done. More cards! Porcupine, beaver, the alpha. The venerable alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. So alpha is actually pretty good. Even though it costs five bones, uh, it will improve the damage dealing of the thing sitting next to it. And uh, that can do some disgusting shit. Um, we ended up not getting much use out of the revenge damage on Porcupine. So let's go take Alpha. Uh, and then boost damage a little bit. Yes, 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 indeed. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us, enhance its power, said another. <laughs> nope. Do what you must. Mm. Let's... Encyclopedia mode activated. Let's go. Uh, so the opossum is technically the correct name for the creature that exists in the US and Canada and comes from the Powhatan language. However, due to the rural areas they're most common to, the O tends to get dropped in common language. Ah, interesting. We're learning things today. The power of the Alpha was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, he withdrew. There's also a creature called a possum in Australia uh, but it's unrelated and only looks to the same only looks the same due to convergent evolution. Ah, convergent evolution is the thing that is making all things crab, right? So yes, we've been established that we have to uh, do this on one one life, but we get a free summon. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Oh, also thank you for the follow, Cry Encrypted. I didn't catch that alert. For some reason, my alerts aren't making noise, even though I've set them to, and I'll be looking into that in future so I can get that working. Uh, but yes, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, the path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Was the prospector? <laughs> oh. mm. The gentleman across the table seems to have something wrong with his eyes. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just just a couple of uh, fucked up things going on. But it's okay. It's fine. Uh, we. Oh, this gives me. When this sigil dies, four bones will be awarded instead of one. That's really good. That's very good. Okay. All right. And I can summon you for free? That's a good fucking card. Oh. Oh, yes. Very nice. 
Uh, I could summon an alpha straight away, actually. I think we do have five floating. And immediately move to stage two. There's gold in them cards. And they die, but it's fine. Get gold, I've struck gold. Uh, we are going to get a squirrel and turn that squirrel into a worker ant. And then we're going to have to desperately work out how we can deal more damage with the circumstances we're currently in, but it's fine. Get him! Uh, that only deals one attack, and that has three health. You know what? Fuck off. Understood. We have time. Uh, we are going to place Squirrel here. It says it should be an option in more card games, I know, right? Well, they tend to get mad when I go and uh, destroy... <laughs> when I go and destroy their cards with scissors. Apparently that's like bad form or whatever. There we go. There we go. Nicely done. Smoothly done. Let me relight your candles. No card option for you, Snip Snip. Very well. You may choose a rare card. Gimme. The Uriuli. The prudent pack rat. Shout out. Shout out to the pack rats out there. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. I have no words for this freak of nature. <laughs> what fucking card is that? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't like how close we have to lean to get this. <laughs> Uh, excuse me? At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed by the sigil. Sure. It moves around, and if it hits something, uh, that thing immediately dies. A long elk. A trinket bearer. Uh, when a card bearing the sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three, which actually sounds pretty fucking good. <laughs> as Hilarious as Long Elk is as a card. I don't understand that card art, but we're not going to think about that too hard. After the harrowing encounter with the Prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Excuse me. Let me see. Oh! The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of the insects drowned out the sounds of your footfalls. You know exactly what that card art means. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, understood perfectly, first time. Yeah, I'm very smart, you understand. Uh, the buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sounds of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Hmm. I wonder what that X means there. There's a boss there. We understood the assignment and would like some brain beach, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me let me back out. That like X on the ground was very. Uh... Where's Edmund Guardian? Oh, it's corner. Huh. Uh, at the end of your turn, the card bearing the sigil will move in the direction. Inscribed in the sigil, creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. I see. Uh-huh. Unkillable, waterborne, bone king, corpse eater, corpse eater. Ha! 
within that's amazing uh i didn't know the fact that we were only using the top four lines of each page this book book looks like a horribly efficient waste of space yeah i know right i'm i'm waiting for i would build a bees deck i love bees bees are cool rabbit hole boulder in a bottle ah cool 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 this is telling me about the other items scroll in a bottle special dagger Hmm. Oh, oh, I can remove a finger to place a weight on the scale, I see. Uh, cut up a card, it is destroyed. Place a weight on the scales, remove the tooth. Gain four bones, skip a turn. Uh, to the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Interesting. Uh, black goat, frozen opossum. Cool. Fish hook. Hook one of my cards and take it as your own with seven empty space. Yeah. Minor boon of the Bone Lord. Is there a way to. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, I really wish there was a way to uh, uh, look at like a proper full list of. Oh. Uh, if you love bees, check out Heart the City Beneath. Yes, I backed that Kickstarter. It's a cool game. I think Ruben really wants to run it. I think uh, Ruben really wants to run that game. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, may, we may run that channel, that game on the channel at some point. Um, we don't know what this does. Hmm. Hmm. Or this. Or this. I mean, twice. And these are boons that we can get. We don't know what boons are yet. Okay, we've looked through the deck. We've looked through the deck. We've looked through the book, rather. Um, we don't have any additional clues so far. I was hoping that that book might tell us what these, like, um, icons are. I do want to see what the X marks the spot at the end is. That seems important. So something that costs two blood, three blood, or bones. Hmm, bones. Oh, another alpha. Sure. Love to have duplicates for consistency. Uh, I would love a squirrel, thank you. And I love another pair of scissors. And then we have a boss fight. Or an elite boss. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, all of my birds have the ability to move into different lanes, I think that's what they're saying. Uh, sprinter in the turn will move in the described sigil. So they'll eventually just push themselves against to the right. That's fine. I can probably ant queen. Ah, oh, we can get the big stinky. Let's go. Let's go. Single use scissors so bad for the environment. I know, right? Let's deal four damage a turn for one mana. Let's go. I genuinely do not care about the amount of damage that deals. <laughs> uh, we are going to take a squirrel. Uh, we're going to play that squirrel. And then we're just going to attack. Ugh. Oh look, I already win. Big Stinky is uh, pretty OP. At least metal is a natural thing. Big O Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, when we died the first time, Cry Encrypted, because you probably didn't see, as a reward for how far we got, uh, we got murdered, but we were able to make a new card based on the cards we already had in our deck. Uh, so we made a card that uh, could be summoned for one sacrifice, uh, dealt a ton of damage, and uh, anything facing it had its damage reduced by one, making it an incredibly cheap and an incredibly effective tank. Um. Uh, 
Uh, two minor card. Beaver, do not care. Ah! We now run into the X marks the spot. We'll see what this means now. You come across some familiar stones, but this one sees something different. So basically, always die before properly playing and get an OP card, good to know. Yeah, basically it's uh, so you you don't just have a shitty deck every time, your deck technically can get better every time because you're making new better cards. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Ah, so this is deck thinning. So I can, I can uh, remove a card from my deck permanently if I don't think it's good. Uh, I mean, I didn't need the beaver, honestly. I don't think beaver is a very good card. Uh, so I will sacrifice a beaver. Bye. You callously slaughtered the beaver. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. Start each battle with one extra bone. Ah, sacrificing so I get to thin my deck and get a bonus each time I sacrifice a card. That's good. That's good. Slay the Spire would never give me that kind of bonus. I guess I guess the trade-off in this kind of thing is that the uh, the game master cheats, but I, in exchange, get to make really powerful builds if I play my cards right, but I'm sure. Oh, it's another elite fight. Birds will move to the right, which is not one I am worried about. Um, oh, we got another big stinky. Hell yeah, let's go. Ah, that is actually more of a concern there. Um, what we're going to do is going to put this. Uh, we're going to get big stinky out into the fray. What a name! I'm glad. I'm glad we named that card Big Stinky. Um, honestly, earnestly, for true. Uh, cool. Is big. Is stinky. Understood. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so good. It's such a good card. Um. Dies. Move by four. Oh, we automatically win. Man! Ah, skunk ape preference. Oh, we. What game did we play relatively recently that had a skunk ape, a skunk ape in it? Uh, we were playing Scarlet Hollow, which is like a horror visual novel. Um, and one of the characters you meet very early on is kind of like a, a, a paranormal investigator YouTuber. Uh, she hunts cryptids, and you go exploring in the woods for a skunk ape, and you find. Well, you don't find a skunk ape, I'll tell you that much. Um, I wonder what that is. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why are you not giving me... Give me a one-blood card. Come on. Reginald! Oh, no. Reginald is somebody who clearly ate shit before. Uh... That, welcome to the party, Reginald. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. You can't take more than three items and you have three. Uh, instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Ah, give me a free pack rat. The prudent pack rat never dot the utility of a well-stocked pack. Well, that is good. I was expecting to get literally nothing. Um, go on, give me another bird. Birds with revenge fly, I see. Uh, with fly block, rather. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. This is a mediocre opening hand. Two damage. 
damage. Hmm. It does mean... Uh... Oh yeah, it blocks the attack and moves elsewhere, innit? Uh, boost tail when the beast struck. A tail is created in this place and the card moves one to the right. Cool, cool, cool. So I can put that there. Then sacrifice this for skink. And then instead of taking two damage, it will just shift one to the right. Which is good. Cool. Um, I will end my turn. It's hard to call it cowardly. Uh, so we're gonna take a squirrel. We're gonna play a squirrel. We're gonna gain a bonus squirrel because we have one in our hand. And then pack rat to sacrifice those. Uh, to put that down in its place. And we get a bone idol instead. Neat. Uh, this is actually a pretty good situation we're in. This is fine. Draw a card. Ooh, the alpha. That's four bones. Hmm. We're still winning the damage race. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, I actually had the bone. I, I I thought I didn't have the the bone spread, but I do. Cool, 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 cool. Um, we get to do a lot of damage then. This is fine. Uh, let's pull a squirrel and then we attack for the win I think yeah 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 nice 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 I keep being concerned about taking damage like I have health and I don't it's just it puts us behind on the damage race this game is very race heavy, it seems, in terms of winning. You have to be quite aggressive to win fights. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke, Pass one of my trials, and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Three, three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again. But first you will choose a trial. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least three or four blood combined to pass. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. The trial of bones. No, not that card. Uh, I think trial of attack is pretty easy to do with my deck. Let the trial of power begin. Uh huh. Yeah. Two from the alpha, four from the big stinky. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Four from the big stinky, one from the bullfrog. <laughs> You have passed the trial. The beast received itself, it was. Oh! Uh, ooh! Okay, uh... All hail the bone wolf. Or the flying defense porcupine. Flying defense porcupine sounds not very good. Uh... Wolf Club that gives me items actually is probably a little better um, because I need I need low cost monsters to low cost monsters to summon. The inhabited Wolf Club joined your menagerie. Oh, 
All right. The choice is yours. Who do we sacrifice? Uh, we don't use Turkey Vulture, so we're gonna... Marvellous. Give something flying. Who are we giving flying? I mean, I could give Big Stinky flying and then he would be even more destructive. Um... Win condition. Love to make myself a win condition. Don't need to pull one from a booster pack. Just cut out parts of that magic card and glue it to a different one. All right, boss number two. Uh, he cheated last time. They absolutely cheated last time. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odour caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go fish. So, I don't have, like, backups now. Uh, which is... Annoying? He's not going to go fish yet. Okay, okay. Uh, we're going to place our boy here. Hmm. Stale fish. Hard choose. What does this do again? An ant is created in my hand. Sure. Uh, we are going to... Mmm, fresh. Choose. Yeah, we're just gonna use the sacrifice sacrificial squirrel to cheat. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha, you fool! Go fish! Uh, bait bucket. Oh, they don't do anything, they just kind of like take up my time, I see. Um, draw a card. Ooh, nice! Um, bad play. No, it's not! No, it's not. We're fine. Oh! Oh, it turns into a shark! I see! I understand. Bad times. Bad, bad times. Sucks, actually. <laughs> Excuse you. Good God. Okay, right, right, right. Uh, so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna use the Ant Queen to kill both of these to put an ant into my hand. Power in numbers, the Ant's Creed. It still costs one. That's annoying. Ant, put that in. And yes, we are absolutely going to go and cut up this card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, go. 
Oh, okay, we're fine. <laughs> I didn't need to burn that set of scissors, but it's okay, it's okay. Need a light. Oh, that was a bit of a blur there. Your reward. A strange lava. Strange lava is pretty good. Ouroboros, eternal serpent. Death strengthens it forever. Oh, it gets stronger each time it dies. Child 13. Uh, not, not an animal. Not an animal. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? Does it get meaner if I try and sacrifice it? Does it, like, turn into something else? Because that'd be rad. Hmm. Hmm. Ouroboros or Child 13, I'm thinking. Stranger Love is pretty good. Basically, in, like, three turns, it turns into a 7-7. Seven, seven. Like a 7-4. Um... It deals seven damage, which can win you fights outright. Like, if that's unopposed, that basically wins you the fight immediately. Uh, but you have to keep it alive for three turns. Um, but these are, these are also interesting choices. Um, keeping targets alive for three turns is actually a bit, like, risky, if that makes sense. Like, um, uh, you want to try and win fights quickly, right? So you don't want to necessarily have to keep something... And nurture it for three turns because that's three turns that the computer can cheat. <laughs> um, it does only cost one to play though. Definite investment. We saw Stranger Lava work on our previous run and that satisfied my curiosity. Let's go with Child 13. So we have a sacrifice engine. Um, and we continue to stage three. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Then I would have to wait. Let me think. A frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You have ascended to snow line. Well, we understand all these sigil what these sigils mean now. Um I don't quite see what that icon is, but uh, do you want to thin a card from our deck? Being able to look at my deck would be fantastic, and this game is very keen to not make me look at my deck. Actually, since we did so well, uh, let's go and do some puzzle solving. Still not been able to do this. I haven't seen a raven yet at any point. Maybe there'll be a raven in one of these. Five damage has to be dealt. This cannot move backwards. Oh, it's stuck. So it has to be there. So at no point will this lane ever do any damage, but it'll boost the damage of other things in other lanes. I see. Uh, hold on a second. Give me a moment. I'll just do something real quick. The, um... I think the message, the automated message is, is, is coming a little too frequently. So let me, uh, slow that down a hair. Uh, that interval, I would love to make half an hour, please. Thank you. Cool. Uh, let's see. So having all four ants on the field means that this ant will deal four damage but we need to deal five so this arrangement doesn't work if it's all ants on the field this might still count interestingly enough our unit doesn't fly though This would do a guaranteed two damage in the air. All right, all right, all right. I think we got it. So, assuming that each ant symbol is the amount of damage all ants do, including enemy ants, 
then that means this is dealing three damage and this is dealing two damage unopposed, equaling five. Hmm. No, okay, so it is only the ants on my side of the field. It does care about that. Actually. Hmm. One damage, two damage, two damage for five. Hmm. Why is that only four? Oh, because that moves to the side one. Then that would only deal one damage. Interesting. Because this moves. Because we don't want to attack. Or does it matter because this flies over targets, right? Oh, there we go. I'm <laughs> slow. I'm very slow, sorry. Curious. Okay. And the last one. Bifurcating. Uh, we have not seen that effect yet, so let's go and read up on it. Bifurcated strike. A uh, card bearing decision will strike to the opposing space to the left and right across from it, but not actually the space itself. Not actually the space in the middle. So this would deal one damage there and one damage there currently. That's fine. Ah, this doesn't move. Okay. That moves. Two. Three, four, five. Oh. Ah, that's forced. Uh. This one damage, two damage. This goes that way, blocking that source of three. Hmm. Oh, the background audio stopped. Okay, spooky. So, one damage unopposed. I can even put it in the way of attacks, which I don't want to do. This can't move back. This can get in the way, though. Hmm. One damage unopposed. Two. Three. This doesn't die for, and that would do for it. Just two. Wait, hold on. Ah, got it. One damage, two damage. Ah, this pushes that that way though, which I don't want. I can't move it back either. Hmm. 
this? Hmm. So there's one damage to each of those targets, but this needs two damage dealt to it, really. This one is definitely the hardest yet. There's a reason why it's the fourth drawer, but if I unlock the fourth drawer, I'm sure I will get something good in terms of uh, progressing the escape room. Yeah, that's locked there. And these move freely. So these two have to be there. So at any point, this will be pushed that way by one. Um... Oh, that's two health. Aha! If it gives me a squirrel- Actually, if it gives me a free squirrel as a reward that I can kind of use anytime I want, that's really good. But I, I hope it's better than that. I hope it is better than that. One, two, block, block. So then this, therefore, should be three. Why is that still two? Maybe I don't understand how this card works. Because if this does two damage, then theoretically this should be doing three damage since it's attacking here, where there isn't anything. So that is three. So that's attacking directly. That is attacking that way, not that way. Wait, why is that still doing three? Oh, because one, two, and then three, because what's attacking there isn't firing. Basically, to be able to do enough damage to be able to proceed, I think I would need to be able to do the source of three damage this here, right? Uh, the only thing is, is that I have to, apparently, attack the lizard here, which makes it move one step to the right and then this lane becomes blocked. If I do this, then I don't make that move. This doesn't move anywhere. But, hmm... I don't know if I... I don't know if I've solved this yet. Huh. Anybody gotten any ideas about what I'm not seeing here? Oh, uh, to note, the things that have one on them, uh, when hit by an attack, do one damage and revenge back. Ah! Ah! Okay, now I understand. So if I do one damage here, then it does one damage back to this, and then this is destroyed. Then it isn't going to attack that one. This hits twice, and then that does three damage. There we go. Cool! A spooky squirrel head. I guess you were right. The reward was a squirrel. Without having met... Her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Hmm. Well, thanks for letting me know it's a thing that I need to concern myself with later, I suppose. in there. Well, I'm glad I took a break from dungeon crawling uh, to go and uh, that squirrel head is a game changer for real. I mean, I'm sure. I guess we just haven't met the, the, the right person yet. But at any rate, let us proceed. Deck thinning might be useful uh, coming up, so... Moose Buck. A raven! Haha, -ha, we do need a raven. 
the conniving raven and blight upon the skies. And an elk. Well, let's take that raven. Thank you. Uh, we sacrifice a card we do not need. Choose wisely. No, no, no. <laughs> I have a caged wolf that I can sacrifice. Boo! Where's Long Elk when you need it? Uh, we have not been using a possum at all. It is a dead card. Get lost. And gives me a bonus bone. And then a challenge battle. Uh, all birds will uh, deal additional blocking, will make me deal less damage. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so we have a raven egg, which I assume will turn into a bird at some point. Uh, we have an elk fawn, which moves and gets stronger. Uh, so this one really wants me to uh, be acting slow. There's one damage. And instead of dealing one damage, it moves. Hmm. Do I just take my one point of view? Yeah. yeah, I think I want to do that. Take one damage, but that's okay. Uh, it can't move, which is useful. I go and take a card. Get scissors, uh, which I will use uh, summarily uh, to get rid of that. Absolutely not. <laughs> Flying T3. Oh god. Uh, pull a good card. Shit. Shit, we're done. We're done. We can't win this fight. Retipping the scales is not going to bring things back enough to make it worth losing that item for, I don't think. Oh, we might as well try. Remove a tooth. Ow. I mean, that's three damage, so it then puts us back, and then it's four damage, and I lose the fight. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're still in. We're still in. Yeah, yeah, remove a tooth. Mm hmm. Uh, this sucks. I just die. Yeah. Ass. Fine. Fine. How oh, disappointing. Shut up. <laughs> I've got the most exquisite belts. The first one's free. Yeah, we're forced to take one. Uh, we can't afford a golden pelt. We can't afford a wolf pelt, though. And then we're gonna leave. Much appreciated. We're also going to go and fill up our backpack. A frozen opossum. Uh, makes my characters fly. Gives me a big blocker. Uh, two big blockers, please. We start with two bone, which is good. Uh, what are they starting with? Elk fawns, which move that way and get stronger. I see. Well, I mean, like...
Let's go. Starting the turn with Big Stinky. Very good. Uh, also, thanks for uh, winning the fight for me. Hmm? Why do they wiggle like that? I win the fight. You're fine. Calm down. If you've got a big stinky, you may as well use it. This is... Wise words have never been said in this stream. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? I'd start out with your hair pelts. This is what I can offer. I can trade you any one of these you like. Take your time. The fuck is this? Cool. Well, I mean, of course I'm gonna take the Eldritch Horror with no card text. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yes, please. Oh, Wolf Belt's too exquisite. Oh, and this one is another uh, Eldritch card. Uh, and I don't get to know what it does. Um, cool. Well, this one sacrifices for a bunch of bones. Hmm. Great White for three. Uh, for three. That's whatever. Um. Do we take this one with cards or this one with the mirror chat? Because uh, the others ain't, ain't blowing my gasket too hard. But uh, those two seem interesting. So do we want another mirror card? Or do we want to see like the hand of cards and what that does? Both of them are clearly very illegal. Mirror, gotcha. These belts are most excellent. <laughs> Many thanks. <laughs> I'm not going to do another elite battle if uh, your pack was full and a small perimeter approach. Yeah, give me that pack rat. All right. Starting with two bones. Oh, we start with big stinky. Let's go. They all move that way. I see. It's such a good card name. Um, uh -huh. Not really an issue. Uh, I'm gonna go and get one of these. Uh, it's especially good now that he flies. Yes, in fact. Wait till just win me fights. Thanks, darling. More cards! Never thought you'd hear the words Big Stinky used so enthusiastically. I know, right? The Dauntless Bloodhound. They leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. The Sadistic Pronghorn. Woe be to those that meet the end of its antlers. A nascent raven. It is no less conniving in its incubation. Additional ways of getting a raven is probably going to be good for that win condition. Ah, oh, there's another fight coming up. Uh, ad adaptation. Mm. Let's put these pack rat effects on something else. Am I your choice? I've not even used you yet. Uh... You know what? Sure. Empower me! Alright. 
Boss three. Boss three. A man stood before you. A man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. It's interesting that only some of the cards seem alive. Yeah. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Oh. Oh. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Okay, so we've got... A strange frog, uh, a leaping trap. When the card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature pairing the sh per opposing it perishes as well. Then the pelt is created in my hand. Right. So these things I assume turn into traps once they are destroyed. Play. I uh, I wonder whether it should be on this side actually, since these things deal me damage. But uh, let's get one of these frozen opossums in. The creature inside is released in this place. Nice, good. Right. Uh, let's get... Those are certainly some strange frogs, indeed. I'm gonna stall this out! We're gonna stall this out. We can we we're in a position where we can go do that. Ah, and then it turns into a trap, I see. Mmm. Uh let's go take the scroll into our hand. This is gonna automatically destroy this, but that's okay. going to for a squirrel. I'm still thinking about my kind of like a uh, alternate win condition. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I'm thinking things through that way a little bit. But uh Reginald! My man Reggie! Draw a card first, yes, 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 yes. Uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put the squirrel here 
and then a raven sec you can't draw blood from a caged wolf huh i didn't know that okay hmm uh in that case uh my dude reggie is gonna enter the fray i think let's go Oh, he's out of, um, Child 13 can be sacrificed repeatedly, but I'm trying to get myself into a circumstance where I have, uh, I need three squirrels in my hand? Yeah, I need three squirrels in my hand so I can have a squirrel and a raven, because I have a feeling once I deal enough damage, he's going to wipe the board, uh, which is bad for me. Yeah. Go on, board wipe. Ah, you cheated again. Cheated again. I see, I see. All right, go. What was that? Okay, okay. So... Uh, we need to stall a little bit, so I'm going to put a wolf pelt, a wolf pelt, and I have one, two, three scrolls in my hand, which is accurate. I can put the alpha down. Cool. Uh, so now we can play a squirrel, a squirrel, and a squirrel. Uh, sacrificing two squirrels to place down the raven. And something happened! Good! Cool! I'm glad we actually got ourselves into that circumstance properly. Uh, we are probably going to lose now, but, but it's fine. It's fine. We achieved the thing. Uh, three squirrels is worth a raven on the table. Yeah, that's how the old adage goes. I mean, I'm going to see if I can still kill him. <laughs> like... <laughs> wonder actually oh and it goes back to normal I see it alternates between big and small and then I can give everybody flying and I wonder if this would be enough for me to go and force the fight through with eight damage I wonder let's go oh they all have flying resist that's bad and now I have nothing in my hand. Uh, I know I now have absolutely nothing. Um, you're lacking sacrifices for that creature. And then I just get my ass whipped. Oh well. Oh well. I fought mad hard there. I fought very, very hard there. I am proud of my efforts. You'll make an exquisite pelt. Cheating motherfucker. How dare. How very dare. Stay there. No need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm. Where did I put that camera of mine? Uh, I was just sloppy and died enough to avoid a grisly fate. I mean, I'm glad that I'm te technically good enough to be able to. Hey, good evening, Ruben. How was your How was your punk uh, punk session? Oh, can I take a picture of him? Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave my film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. 
We have a memento to create. There was a screamo band called Sun Clown. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I enjoy that name. Behold your death card. Right, we're back to it. Big Stinky is going to have a best friend. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, Bullfrog is a bad card, so I'm more than happy to take a one cost from that. Another uses power and health, the numbers. Oh! Hmm. We didn't get a chance to use the mirror cards, so let's go and take a mirror. Zero power and three health from the mirror tentacle. Please choose a card from which we extract the sigils. Uh. Hmm. And noted, I will name it Suck Lord Reuben. Do I want to give it the ability to power up my allies? Or do I want to give it the ability to sacrifice for a bunch of bones? Bones, sure. The sigil of the Bone King from the Mirror Tentacle. I never did ask your name. Oh, well, my name is the one and only Sucklord. There is a, a, a pop artist called Sucklord, actually, who I follow on Instagram. <laughs> Funnily enough. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. <laughs> So we died again. Not much for trading, that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fail. Fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find others along the path. Use it wisely. It seems the stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. Oh, the stoat looks different. Oh, oh, I can... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go adventuring for a bit, because we, uh... Oh! <laughs> I could just remove that potted plant from... Well, I'm gonna extinguish that, see if that does anything. Yes! I do relish the suffering. I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Well, that card's very, very good. Uh... Oh, the wolf has been freed, apparently. But they can't do anything with it. Hmm. Do we have new puzzles? Uh, I wonder if I have to solve them the same way as before. Nothing inside. Okay. Gonna lurk for a bit. Sure thing! Enjoy your lurk. Thank you for hanging with us. While we do the, the kind of like mist bits and pieces here, but we work out what we need. Oh! Well, its eyes are Ill illuminated. I wonder if that even means anything. We will find out as we go. This, I don't think I have anything that can do anything with this yet. The wolf doesn't move? No, I uh, tried to poke the wolf and nothing happened. Oh, no, it does. Oh, it's because I was holding something. Knife. 
You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. Uh, excuse me? You just stole it straight out of my hands. I was going to use that to go for your for your neck, good sir. Hmm. Ah, the 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 knife is now one of the things in my setup. I see. All right, onwards. Let's keep going. No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Insect, lizard, wolf. Keep your eye on that knife. Yeah, 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 that knife. Um, concern, concern, I must say. Uh, let's go for the insect family. The underappreciated ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. Randomly chosen insect card. Did you wish for something else? Yeah, I... Hmm. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and gestured at them brusquely. Chores. I guess I had to fight this, then. Oh, it will give my squirrels one of these aspects? Uh, flying protection. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The mighty leap sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Uh... Yeah, no, I figured as much, although I don't think any of those buffs would be useful for my squirrels, since squirrels don't deal damage. Uh, but hey, but hey. Now we can use them to block flyers, I guess. A sparrow, like these, uh, which apparently move over time. Um... Yeah, it has flying now too. Mm -hmm. Do I just... Yeah, I'm just going to turn it into a wolf. actually even does. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, draw a card. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get this thing back to normal. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. Oh, another tribal. Deers, beasts, birds. Uh, let's go for a bird. 
A oh, raven egg. egg. Sure thing. The bones of an ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. Gently shaking hands, she... With the gently shaking hand, she placed her offerings before you. Again, alternate. Ah, so I can now make all of my elks. Hmm. Evolves? Huh? Right, cool. So now my squirrels can evolve. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Can I have more than one totem? Now my squirrels evolve. It's me. Oh, the stink bug looks different now. The stink bug looks considerably more like a person. Uh, a wolf cub. You need the heads for that, but yes. Okay, fantastic. Well, I kind of want to. Was I kind of want to see what an evolved squirrel is like? <laughs> I'm very curious. So I'm gonna put down two uh, and make one of them stoked. Back on the board. An elder squirrel. Uh, it does one damage now and has three health. I guess that's better. Uh, good to know. Yeah, because it was a zero one and now it's a one three. That's mediocre. <laughs> uh, to get that for like a turn. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I can do a stoke. This, that's basically stoked. Stoked's already fine. Uh, and we're gonna put Stinkbug into play. Chum. <laughs> uh, let's pull a card. Another ringworm. Hmm. We still win though. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Oh, this is a new tile. You came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You can't be off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say, I like me a gamble. If you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Show me where to strike. Here. To beehive. The dead nabbit, no gold. But that's a funny looking varmint. Keep it. I would vastly prefer a beehive, thank you. <laughs> uh, do I want to increase my pack? Oh, I get to look at my deck if I keep scrolling up. I didn't realize that. Good. Um, my deck's pretty small. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a B is created in my hand. Uh, which I would really love to put on a tanky unit instead. I wonder if I put an evolve on the ringworm, if that will do anything particularly interesting. Okay. Um... Let's do that. Let's do that. Mm hmm. The choice is yours. Uh, yep. Uh, do I want to evolve stoat, actually? Do you want to evolve stoat or ringworm? Choices. Both of those are very interesting. Because the game clearly, clearly has thought through. Invest in Ringworm, of course. Stock prices for Ringworm were never higher. Battle! 
Return to ringworm. <laughs> Sacrifice human. Return to ringworm. Lucky draw. Ah, we've got the evolving ringworm in our opening hand. Uh, that does no damage, so who cares about you? Sparrow could be annoying, though. Becomes gods. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that turns into an Elder Ring one, which is apparently just as bad. Uh, it is... It is basically a squirrel with a sacrifice requirement, which sucks, honestly. could be used to even it out a bit. I'm not going to be using that knife. I'm I'm certain that if I do that, that would be a very bad plan. Um, that knife is definitely going to remove a finger of mine. You have me here, I surrender. Trust me, it's worth it. No. Mm -mm. I'm only going to use that in circumstances where it is very much dire straits. I am not going to take that because I want to uh, I want to specifically uh, get coins so mm -hmm. and this gets me four coins or three coins there we go nice Oh yeah, don't use it for a random battle. No, no, no. It's only going to be for one where I'm absolutely effed. The pelts are clean. I only have four. I have a free one. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your patronage. Now... Uh, I forget what that icon did. Oh, it makes a totem. That's right. I'd rather make one of my cards stronger. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors... <laughs> One of the survivors said nothing at all, but he could not stop licking his lips. <laughs> in, in, invest in ringworm. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I don't get it. I hope it actually turns out to be good, because this is starting to be really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This better actually be good. This better actually be good. I'm gonna be pissed. The smoke is great indeed. Ah, we have greater smoke now. It can attack. It can attack, I see. I am so faintly familiar with the streetcar named Desire. A chill mist closing around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me gold, I've been darned. <laughs> Respect to boss, Gan. Hmm. I mean, we can get... We can basically get a, uh... A wolf out, turn one, which is pretty good. No 
Yeah, we take those. Huh. Now. Mm. Oh, shush. Uh, we need this. Greetings. Masterful. Right. Ah, this is gonna push us to stage two too early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, stink bug is not actually that great, so it's fine. I can let them be destroyed for a turn. Well, there's Ringworm. Ringworm is in the house. Hmm. It's not going to survive an attack from either of these dudes, though. don't want to um, use the hook early, but stealing the bloodhound or the wolf would be really good. <laughs> Fuck it. Mine. Finally better card? It's two damage, not that much. See what this fucking thing does. <laughs> oh, does it count the number of cards in my hand? Ah, ah, mmm, mmm, that's good info. I see, I see. Makes sense. Oh, so the mirror card must reflect the amount of damage that the other person does. Yeah, um, so the squirrel, we now have a totem that gives all our squirrels age. So uh, after a turn, they turn into something minorly stronger. Uh, they go from a zero one to a one three, which is still kind of shit. Uh, <laughs> It's actually not that great. It's not that great, but it's fine. Strange Lava, the douse. That filthy feral hog becomes incensed when its chimes are struck. And the child 13. Bellist. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. The chime is defined as zero power, one health. Okay. Let's try it. And we move on to the uh, Rotten Swamp area. Here at the Swiss Access Unhinged Gaze, we continue. Hmm. Oh, yes, I know. As the air grew humid around your boots. As the air grew humid, your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dark smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. 
you reached the wetlands. I only have the sacrificial knife, so restoring my pack seems like a good idea. Show me some exquisite pelts. Hair pelts. Okay. Corpse maggots uh, that jump in if somebody else dies. Great white spattered with blood. Uh, I'm going to take... What? Go. Wolf belts. Ooh, mantis. Uh, attacks in either direction and becomes stronger. Mole. When the empty space would be struck, a card bearing the strigil will move to that space and receive the strike instead. Sure. Uh, hmm. Mantis is so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Mantis is cool. Especially since Mantis is going to get stronger after one turn, which sounds pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, we are absolutely going to cut up a card. Oh no, you can't use that. Nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. That seems like a lie. That seems like a big lie. Let's go. The ringworm is back. Ooh, bees. Drink the green guy. I mean, eventually. God. Evens it out, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> now it's a god mantis! <laughs> Amazing! Uh, you gotta let your green guy steep first. God, yeah, you know. They know what's up. Squirrel into ringworm. Maybe we'll see what evolved ringworm even is. But mantis god is uh, fun as fuck. That's amazing. Um, Bang, bang, bang. Oh, oh. Oh, they have a mantis too. Okay. And now it is an elder ringworm. Sure. Uh, let's get a squirrel first. It's a 2 3. That is fine. Why is there a glowing eye on it? Because it's a god. It's enlightened. Duh. Uh, hold on. We want to save the score for another turn, so we're gonna. <laughs> Mantis God is very good. Mantis God is very, very good. Uh, deck thinning improves. Okay, we're gonna go here. A bug. Uh, a lizard or a wolf. Let's go for another bug. Bug deck. Bug deck. Upgraded cards of going eyes. Mantis God has its third eye open. There, well, there we go. There we go. The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you draw a bee. Thank you. Let's give the beehive attack damage. <laughs> Warm a creature by the fire. Oh, no, we're absolutely going to make them give the mantis plus one attack. Like, it's too good. There is no reason why we'd not do this. <laughs> I know, Ringworm, I know. But, like, the ability to do four damage a turn, four damage a turn is very good. And then when it evolves six damage a turn, that wins fights. Like... <laughs> I, I, I'm here for the meme as much as the rest of you, but I would like to actually win my matches, please. <laughs> uh, 
Salutations. A bullfrog that does one damage. Uh, well, we can get the beehive going. Like the beehive. Uh, ding ding, motherfucker. Bees! Um, bees are played for free. Oh, that's cool. Um. No, I will save you for next turn. Freebie! Oh, well, that died very quickly, actually. What? This is two damage, I see. Uh, we are gonna... Draw a squirrel. Uh, we're gonna do that. Then that. Uh, then that. It's fine, it's just there to block. Uh, how are we doing in the... We're, we're actually in pretty good stead, let's draw a card. <laughs> Me again. Fine. Shall we drink goo? I think we're about to win anyway, so now seems like a good time to drink goo. I'm serious, you cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice? Avoid it. Alright. I think this wins us the match. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that is by cost. By class or just random. Uh, we're good on items, so we don't need to go that way. Let's just go for let's go for class. I'm clearly building my way towards an insect deck. So cockroach, okay. Although it seems that the like at the different classes of like animal don't actually have synergy with each other at all, which is strange. Um, the crappy woodcarver appeared before me. She moved with a certain vigor in kind of disgustable age. Hey, Bughead! Absolutely, yes, please. Uh, we're going to make our bugs. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, we get the the choice of right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. I see. Hmm. Uh, I don't see a reason of doing an elite fight. We have no reason to do an elite fight, so we're just gonna fight a regular enemy. A lucky draw. Ah, because they're bugs. Yes. Ha ha ha. All right. All right. All right. The the strat is already the strat is already amazing. Uh, the rattler does three damage. You go there. Uh, we're gonna sacrifice you for the beehive. We get a boulder as a reward. Uh, yeah, and then next time we get squirrel, and then we can make some stuff happen. Oh, adders, huh? Uh, yes. Okay. So we're gonna place a bee. And a squirrel. And then we're gonna sacrifice both of those things for the deus. Uh, put the stink bug here. Ah, damn it, because the adder died. Um, but our, our thing evolved, so maybe that's good. Uh, let's see, let's see. 
time dilation ringworm. Uh, I am going to cut this in half. Go away. Absolutely not. Um, do I want to use the boulder? For one? Not really. Ah, we sacrifice that to put this here. Yeah, that's just voice is annoying. It's fine, that's now two, three. Fantastic. Um I may have war I wait I may have walled myself here slightly. Uh we're going to have to eat shit for a turn, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> nice top deck. Ha ha ha. Ha, funny. Um... No, it's fine. Shut up. If I put you literally anywhere else, you would immediately die. Um... Ah, this sucks. Okay. And then we win the damage race, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Ugh! Awkward. Uh, we might need to restock our items, and we don't need another totem. Because evolving bugs are actually very, very powerful. Okay. The ra tragic racked king. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. The tyrannical great white, the master of the deep. Bullfrog. <laughs> um, I got the sacrificial goat earlier specifically so I could make something big like great white. So let's go take that. And then let's refill our pack. Oh! Cool. Uh, and do we need bones? Flight is maybe more important than bones. Bones seem to be pretty good so far. Flight. All right, fisherman. So you beheld an immense man slouch beside a mucky pond. Ah, uh, I mean, if you're tired, then take it easy. Uh, if you need to relax, that's entirely fine, but thank you for hanging out with us today. But if you want to just vibe while resting, that's cool too. Uh, thank you for hanging with us today. Uh, he appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fixed corpse. Some chunks were thrown back into the pond or a few ghoulish birds snapped them up. And some were swappily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. You bring fresh fish. Easy choose. The angler. Mm -hmm. Play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. I know.
Let's go. All stale, hard truths. Hmm. Okay. I would much rather you potentially take the bullfrog. New fish, easy choose. Which you can't take because you've got something in the same lane. Uh, yeah, real question, do you want to co-commentate? Oh, shit, yeah, 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 If you want to hang out, absolutely. Um, give me just a second. What I'm going to go and do is go and refresh my water and get Reuben in the cool. And uh, then we'll be right back. Um, we're only going to be gone like two minutes. Give me a sec. Uh, and uh, so I can do this. Let's we'll set that to two. Close. Right, uh, we'll see you in like two minutes. Be ready. Hello, hello, and welcome back. Welcome back. I am your androgynous AI game show host from the future caster. And with me is the absolutely delightful Ruben. Hi. Tank fly boss walk jam nitty gritty. You're listening to the boy from the Netherlands. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, hi. I am going to go and turn the game volume down a little bit and then turn you up a little bit because I think you might be a little quiet comparatively. Uh, uh, introduce your... D d tell us about yourself while I still do the okay. remaining bits of tech setup. Thank you for being I patient, everyone. I'm Ruben. I'm at Urban Friend Den on Twitter. I am a queer fiction writer. I'm an anti-colonial fiction writer. I'm a queer community organizer based in The Hague, the Netherlands. Uh, I make sure that books and libraries are queer. I have fun with my friends. I just went to a punk show and I screamed Sun Clown very <laughs> loudly. I was going to say that your voice sounds uh, a little, a little harsher than normal, which oh, is yeah. the, it makes sense on the other side of uh, punk screaming. I'm glad you had a yeah. good time. That sounds dope. Oh yeah, it was so dope. It was just like a basement full of queer people, like queer artsy folks who mm -hmm. just came around to see this like mythical band called Sun Clown perform their first gig. And first they, gig, wow. Yeah, first ever gig, and it was, I think they all knew each other from, like, the college or, like, mm. study or whatever. Um, but, oh, nice. Yes, first skull gone. Mm -hmm. um, but it was really good. Like, it was screamo, it was trashy, it was very mm. dead in the meets, uh, they, th there was a guy who was playing saxophone. Mm. While the lead singer was screaming into a microphone, it was synergetic. That sounds sick as hell. Also, uh, they just gave me the win, this fight, it seems. Nice. <laughs> Get fucked, little, little man. Little man with your weird mask. Mm hmm Wait, is that enough? Because you're going to do four damage. Oh, wait, the, the chum buckets can't attack. Oh, my yes. God, listen. <laughs> oh, my God, Caster. Caster, this is I, I am okay at card games. I am not good at other video games, but card games I'm reasonable at. <laughs> um, like a great white shark. Oh, oh, look at that. At, from the sea below. What's mm -hmm. that coming for you? It's not Jaws. It's, it's Caster. <laughs> Cast, casting that net. Damn it. Damn it. Damn, damn. My, oh my god. Cats are just like, you kill him and he pays you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I hate how much of a cheating bastard this guy is. I get, I, I, I love how this game takes a lot of time to make you specifically hate this guy. <laughs> Uh, every time you get to the end of a boss, he's like, no, do it again, asshole. I'm just going to summon, uh, a, like, 12 flying bears uh, so you can't win. Yeah. I'm like, all right, it's fine. Like, look, look around you. You've, you've had a, a little glimpse at the at the room you're in. Do you think Do you think this is the room of a game master who plays fair? Mm-hmm. It's all cheating all the time. An amoeba. 
Oh, hell yeah. Uh, oh, it's a random sigil, I see. That's fine. Mantis God is sick, and I wonder what happens if I have the, since I have the little evolution charm for insects, what, what it means to go one step beyond Mantis God. Oh, beyond God. Mantis Ultra Instinct. Mm hmm. It was, it was a solid pick. It was a guaranteed, a guaranteed pick. All right, let's go uh, uh, find out what the fuck this um, jar of goo is about. Mm -hmm. And also in the game. Hmm, you know. Uh, well, when I went to go and take a, a comfort break and to get water, I did also get a jar of goo. Yeah, there's a green guy in there. Oh, wait, what did he have? He... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Wow. Actually, this was like a Reuben voice. Do you want to take him? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm can I put this in the plant? No, don't put me. I'm, I'm just a little rough boy. No, that dagger found its mouth. You must be brave. Oh. What does he mean by that? Well, we've been holding on to the dagger that we got from the squirrel for a while because in the like little book of rules, it was like, oh, if you use the pliers, you can tip the scales by a little and it removes a teeth, right? So I'm like, and then it says the dagger tips the scales by a lot. And I'm like, that's going to remove one of my fingers. <laughs> hey, you got 10 of them. So what's the, what's the hold up? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what if that fucks with my hand size? You know, this feels like the kind of game that's like, oh, you tip the scale by a lot, but you can now carry one fewer card per turn or oh. something like that. Okay, so I'm okay. like, hmm. So I want to wait until I'm in a circumstance where I'm like, I'm fucked before I go and take that dagger, right? I don't want to use it randomly. It needs to be when it's important. Don't worry, the, the zone you're entering is going to give you those situations. Oh, this this ice area was already kind of like, you know, trying to try to show us some threats. Um, we should probably thin our de look to thin our deck a little. What is uh, not good? Bullfrog uh, isn't really pulling its weight. Wolf is fine. Wolf is very fine. Um, the douse, honestly, the cost is too high for the thing it's the doing. Mm, mm, mm. It seemed like a f fun little guy, but actually, yeah, it's not an insect. And uh, for two damage, it should probably, for two sacrifices, it probably should be dealing three damage at minimum. Yeah, okay, okay. So let's go, let's go deck thinning after we do this chat. Well, let's look at our deck one more time. We have reasonable blood costs. Yeah. Mediocre damage costs unless we pull Great White. And only and two things that do bones. You can always pair it up with the Black Oak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh no, that pairing makes sense. It's just because this is a this is the trial node, right? Where it's gonna ask us to draw three cards and then hope that they meet a requirement, and it seems like blood is probably our best call here. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh no introduction necessary, just straight into it. Ah, yeah, we've, we've seen it before. Uh, two of the three drawn cards must be of the same kin. You got a lot of bugs. Yeah, we've been we've been building a bug deck, so that might actually be not bad. Trial of Bones, that's not, no. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, I'd like to have some kind of deck synergy. I think statistically going for kin is probably going to be our best call here. Yeah, I think so. Let the trial, Let the trial of kin begin! <laughs> Good luck. Fuck! Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Doesn't great match. Stone and great white. If you see mm. these three, they're giving you a fright. This might oh, well. be based uh, poke, like uh, video game rap song. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Dropping, <laughs> dropping the raps is. Uh... <laughs> did you catch any of the um, streams we did when we were doing a charity drive? I think last week where we were doing a surprising amount of rapping. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I'm afraid I, miss, I missed that. Oh no, no, it's all good. Uh, so when we were playing like uh, Observer, 
there was an area that just had like a lo-fi beat going so i just decided off the tome to spit some not very good bars oh yeah uh, and it was a lot of fun Walnuts, peanuts, pineapple shells, <laughs> grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh yeah, uh, I can't remember what my rap was about anymore. It's in the clips. It's in Twitch clips. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if anybody wants to go find it, it's there. It's there. It's the only observer clip. That technically makes you a member of the Gorillas, I think. <laughs> I am British and into trip hop, and I have said like three bars. So yeah, no, we in it. We in it now. Damon, Damon Albar, where's where's the contract? Mm -hmm. Where's where's the crossover? Uh, they collaborate with everybody these days. They can collaborate with me. It's they're technically VTubers, so. <laughs> yes. Um, turkey vulture. Oh yeah, this card. That's actually really good. Yeah, that's a really, really shitty thing to fight. Mm. Um, it costs like eight bones to make as well. What a cheating yeah. bastard. Uh, you, can, you might want to put your full frog just as a first vanguard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm looking at that black goat. We'll see. We'll see. For now, though. For now, though. Sacrifice me, bastard. <laughs> yeah, bullfrog has been mercifully silent. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is fun. Ah, uh, Mole doesn't do anything, but like blocks attack. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get the squirrel. We're gonna get the black goat. Uh, we're going to sacrifice the squirrel with the black goat. Put it like here. Yeah. Uh, uh how much give me life. I sure hope I won't be exsanguinated for some mm -hmm. exterior purpose. Mm -hmm. Oh man, no, I'm no, you're doing that anyway. Dang it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Thank no, you for your blood. Your blood was delicious. Thanks, goat. Thought. And now we have the big cockroach. Uh, we're gonna have to just. Yo. We're top. We're top decking here, so let's just see what our next card is first. Okay. All right. Nice. nice. More bees. This would go back to my hand if I sacrificed it, huh? Yeah. If you kill it, that means it just shows up. And if you have the bones, you can just resummon it. Hmm. Actually, that's the play. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There it is. Hi. I'll never Sorry. die. Yeah. And then we can we can get additional bits and pieces as turns go. It always freaks me out when you Oh shit. Ooh. Uh okay, alright, alright. This is fine. We have three coins. We need four. Oh, because it's flying, it didn't attack the beehive. Shit. Oh, right. It's fine. Wait. L count count your bones real quick. One, two, three. Four. We're at three, unfortunately. Is that, okay, that's three. yeah. Okay, that's three. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sacrifice that beehive to get an extra bone, and we can summon cockroach again. But I'm very yeah. annoyed. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Do we have scissors handy? Hmm. Uh. I don't know what you got. We have flying, but no scissors. I mean, I see. I see another sharp instrument. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's, let's wait until it gets let's wait until it gets bad you can, huh? you can take one hit because it's gonna do four damage your way mm. it's ain't looking great for our robotic hero mm. i can make us fly and no that only guarantees one and it won't defeat the raven either Mm. Um, no, it, it would just mean that you deal three damage back to him. Because mm -hmm. it just goes, ignores all the others. Mm. There is one way to tilt the scales. I'm aware, Joe. I'm aware. Uh... Yeah, it's, uh, it's within, um, it's within your hand's reach. Mm -hmm. Look, look, he shows you even some fingers to, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, you thought it was a finger. Oh, Nathan, you thought it was- I lose an eye! Okay, alright, alright. You got- you got two of them. Hey, hey, bet you didn't see that coming. 
<laughs> but now you win. Okay. Uh, I mean. Good, good job. Good yeah. Job. yeah. And my yeah. vision is uh, bad to the rest of this uh, encounter now. Cool. Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. All right. It isn't much fun if you're half blind. Actually, Replace it with what? Oh, oh cool. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I mean, find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Congratulations. This was the in, correct play. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, most of those other eyes did not seem as enticing as the one with an ancient symbol inscribed on it. I'm, I'm wondering, is that Cuckoo One Clock there? Because there's just blood dripping. Okay, okay. Regardless, the choice is final. Meaning that if I fuck this up, I would have to be... Wait for another encounter. Yeah, to, to get to gouge your eye out. Mm. Hey, look ah, at that. There we go. Yes, yes. I was like, hmm, I, I, we don't have the code decried for this yet, but here we go, some missed bullshit. Well, that's an eye. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now. Ooh. What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Nice. Now you have film roll. What's up, dude? Hey, man. What's up, my G? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I have just two eyeballs, but even I can see that you want... You want cute guy. <laughs> <laughs> you want cute guy? <laughs> you want... Wait, keep. What does it say? Keep sealed. Keep sealed. Oh well. I mean, oh. mm, weird. Mm. Oh, and there's something on the painting too. There's blood splatters, but uh, I, I already uh, revealed the thing that's inside it. I got the plot. Uh, you know, we assume it's blood. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could get the eyes to glow, but I don't know if that does anything. Well, let's let's talk to my guy. I was about to ask if I'd miss what happens with the green goop while away. I mean, you have the masters out. Was this moon the master can see me? Magnificus, how do you be? Can you see me? You free me. Well, can you? I have a feeling this would probably end the current dungeon crawl I'm on, but also this feels like plot advancement, and I quite enjoy plot advancement. So, kids, kids love it. <laughs> kids love the fresh, <laughs> the cool, refreshing taste of plot advancement. And so a bunch of teens on like at a skate park was like, "Yeah, no, we dig it when narrative things happen." Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... it was done. The master is free. Our land must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Hmm. It. Hmm. Do I have to continue a little bit? I'm surprised I can't just open the stopper in the jar. Um. Oh, um. Mm. Yeah, I mean, check around a little more. Because there might be other stuff you can see with your magic eye. What do you see with your special eyes? Nothing on those. Oh. We've extinguished all the candles. We've solved all these puzzles previously, but maybe there'll be another thing inside. Nah. Yeah, when I when I opened it after being a different person and opened those drawers and I didn't get any rewards for it, so. Um this is already completed. Same. Uh, what about the cupboard next to the... Figures. The safe is empty. The cupboard. I don't think there's anything down here that I can access. Uh, the, we have our plant pot, but... Hey, can, excuse me, um, Mister mm Mister -hmm. Eyes. Can I can I go to the bathroom real quick? No. <laughs> hey, can I can I can I just uh, I, I need to go for a smoke break, you know? Dude, yeah. here. Oh, I wonder if the book is anything. Hmm. 
Not really. I was wondering if the uh the failure. Um I was wondering if the uh the ink spatters would show something right. different upon <laughs> having the ghostly eye, but you, no. You don't you don't want to find like sticky pages in your compendium. <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> I don't wanna know how much this GM has been enjoying this, honestly. Um I mean he got that camera in it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have the I have the film reel, but I don't know what that does yet. We've not found anything to. Uh, what do you think the potted plant is fertilized with? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, the goo is the only liquid we've seen so far. Uh, is it just me, or could we see slightly more of his head there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we get his like weird little forehead. His little wrinkle uh, head. Mm hmm. Oh, honey, you need moisturizer. You need you need green guy goo. <laughs> yeah, can we just like a uh, massage some of this onto your scalp, please? You just need to make him useful. You're worth it. Let him uh, let's proceed plot. Let's continue with this dungeon yeah, first, because yeah. I want to see if I can beat Ice Guy. Absolutely. Oh, we have a roll of film. So when we eventually we die, we can shove that into the camera and then one shot him. Ooh, okay. All right. Picture perfect. Ooh, try All right. Uh, for blood. It's blood. Two of the same. For attack. Mm, I think kin or power. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go for kin again. I'd like to gamble. Nope. Well, Shit. <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> this again. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mr. Stoke. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's different now. Looking a little square these days. He's, he's, he looks like a little little TV screen. Because his ears were like folded down in this iteration, so I was kind of like, huh. But okay, all right. He's also got a little handle. Hmm. Little crank. This area is new. I've not seen this event before. Oh. Here, here's it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. It's it's awesome. Mm hmm. I mean, we don't need another totem because we've already got a really good mechanically good totem. So. Cyber stoked, yes. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes. Yes. No, I'll, I'll take the small guy. Absolutely. And we are performing our experiments far from... from... We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We, we will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. Uh, do I even have any fucking duplicates? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Mm, I don't want to lose my... Well, the beehives have been only okay. So if this yeah. turns into something dope, then I guess it's something Joy dope. Beehive. I, I think this could get messy. Look away. Oh my god. Oh no. Huh. Oh, so it applied the properties of one. So I now have one of them, but it has the same properties of both. Yeah. Yeah. That was. And it doubles the health. And... Ah! Right, 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 right. I see. So you got colony collapse, but also colony. Mm, I mean, if it takes more hits to make more bees, that's actually that okay. Is, yeah. That that for real is is like a really good mm. benefit. Yeah. I guess all we need to do now is give it stench, so it takes less damage from attacks, and we're probably in there. Oh, to thank you. How's it been? It's been quite bad. I'm trapped in the body of a stoat, in the paper of a card. I see that. And I've of course set up a way to reset. Once more. Uh, go on. Our player friend here. They already hold the key. More cockroach! It was the key is cockroach. It's a two two for one. That is fine. <laughs> it is a super colony, says chat, I agree. Uh This two two for one is actually functionally a lot better than the one three for one. <laughs> 
Uh, oh my god! Don't don't say that when you when you're looking at him. Uh, oh, that, ex excuse me. <laughs> it's like, okay. A three seven. Um, excuse me. Also look. Oh, that's a spider. Yeah, just 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 vibing. Also, a mole man out there. Mm. It flies and it gets in the way of attacks. I see. This is uh. Oh, that's. This wasn't even an elite battle. This is yeah, just this is just a regular fight. They just want... I have no resources left, too, so I have a feeling this encounter is not one we're going to win. Um, so, do I want to start with the three dead... Oh, well, okay. Ooh. You're going to need to get lucky on your on my card draw otherwise it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a it's gonna be a bit of a massacre uh basically i just need to keep blocking mans but uh mole elk fawn only just one damage though Okay, and then we have the cockroach. Uh, that can't move that way anymore. Um, I have to do that, otherwise, uh, if I put them in an empty space, the mole person will jump to an empty space, yeah. and then this can continue to move to the left, and I don't want that. Okay. And now you're so. blocking the, the top right card as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, hey, don't be impatient. Sucks as a stall tactic, because uh, this is just going to be real punishing. Oh, it's gonna be it just moves around by itself. Okay. I do oh. not have the blood to make that occur. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh. oh god. Ow. Oh. I just lose. I don't just lose. Uh, hold on. Tab. Uh, hold on, hold on. Look at your candles. Hold on a second. I need to go and ban somebody. Oh. Uh, okay. Spam bots. Ah, I missed it. That's cool. I got it. Spam bots are a novel concept to these days. Yeah. Uh, and blast it past. Mm, look at my candles. I still have two candles lit, so it's not okay. game over if I lose, lose this fight. But to be honest, even if it was game over, that progresses the story at this point, so it's not a huge deal. Um... But don't you just want to win? I mean, I would love to win, but I, I, I know when I'm, I know when I'm outplayed against somebody who's cheating. Exactly. Uh, do I stall? Well, no, we're already at. If I take one more point of damage, I lose. So, it's fine. Yeah, we get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got your ass in it. It's oh. fine. At least I don't have to redo the fight. We keep moving. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want a draw card? More, more bug? More, more bug. If he's not gonna more bug? Smoke, come on. No bird. bug. No bug. Burped. Bird? Bird will do. Bird will do. And, and then we get to make them. bugs strong. Which bug are we gonna choose? More health. Oh, shit. Mm. That's... Your beehive. Big bro. beehive. The biggest beehive. Do you must stop this. Mother What's, hive. If you must. Oh my god. It's just soaked in blood. It's so yeah. unnecessary. <laughs> just make this uh, card bleed. Bee guts all over it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think this is where it introduces something more. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. I didn't say anything. But these, uh, those, those um, events, they mm -hmm. get uh, more in depth. The more yeah, I was waiting for a point where it'd be like, hey, hey, friend. Uh, oh, what a turn one. What a turn one. A friend in me. All right. Squirrel, black goat, and the great white. Racism is over. I enjoy the four damage, friend. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I miss Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky is good. Yeah, you haven't gotten any of your uh, death cards. 
Mm. Oh shit. Evolving Mantis. Uh, and no god. Evolving Mantis is very good, but unfortunately, I do not have a cockroach to be able um a card. A, yeah. So, because I'm not going to get rid of the Great White. Are you kidding? Oh, overkill damage. I see. <laughs> Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. <laughs> if I were a GM, I would be like, uh, no, that's not a thing. Nothing happens. Lucky for you. That, that, did, that didn't come into play at all. <laughs> uh, gimme. So, um, hold on. It only has one health, so that would actually be a very bad idea. I th I th oh, you can you can win this though if you and you can get a little bit of money if you put the squirrel mm. to like the left, sacrifice it for the mantis. They both hit the same spot because mm. they because he's got the bifurcated strike right, and they use mm -hmm. six damage on the overkill. Mm. So get that, get that fucking money. Stacking get paper, paper, gold get, teeth. <laughs> get paid, baby. We do not need a new totem. I did okay at that fight. The sacrificial traps are kind of a pain in the ass. But we have the beehive now, and that would make that a lot easier because we can just make more bees. I, I, feel, like, I feel that fight is meant for people who love birds. You know, because mm. they just go fly over them. Mm, true. I hope that's clean. You have none. Do you want to descend? I didn't run into a... It must give me this. Oh, just gives me extra cash. Sure, sure, sure. Thanks. Thanks for neither. Where, where'd you get them? From the sky. Did you not see? <laughs> <laughs> from all the teeth in the sky. From all the faces. I am very tempted to sacrifice. Well, it's a bug, and bugs are good, so we want to keep bug. Um, you can take an evolve. Oh, oh hold on. You can snatch the um the tree blood thing from black goat and maybe mm. put it on a no cost thing if you i do i have any no cost things in my hand i don't know i don't think i do oh we have the smoke but i, I don't think we i don't think we have it in our deck so i think yeah. maybe taking the evolve and giving that to something else might you, be okay you only get it if you enter a boss fight with two lives mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. oh right well <laughs> Your choice. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, who do we want to make evolve? Great White? <laughs> I mean, what does it mean to go one step beyond Great White? Best White. Like, Best oh, White. Uh, no, I, don't like that. I don't like that. No, 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 <laughs> I, we both said that and then both went, no, never mind. <laughs> um, I mean, Hyper Wolf also seems pretty good. Hyper Wolf. Hyper Wolf or this dude, since it will be like a three, it'll yeah, be a three, I'll three for one, and that's Ultra actually pretty Wolf. good. Yeah. Ultra Wolf EX. Ultra Wolf EX. A taste of new form of glory. Indeed. All right, let's go kill Pelt Mansa, Pelt Monger. Pelt Monger. Boink. Familiar sights and senses of the Travis Pelts, but something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you as the steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. His mask is upside, upside down. Hmm? Did you notice that? His mask, his mask is upside down. Oh! Huh. Because it's like the... Because when you talk to him for the buying pelts, Mm -hmm. hair, and now, ah, this is the other side, the other side of the equation. I kind of want to put Mantis God in the middle, and it would probably go poorly for me, but let's go, I guess. Oh, hold on, T take a look at the, the trap thing. Uh, like the exact description, does it only deal damage? Uh, oh, right. Uh, the creature opposing it perishes. There you go. There you go, Nathan. Mm. Caster, that's your in. That's your in. Mmm. That is God, baby. Alright, alright, okay. Oh, that's a 
Mantis is God! No, but it's there. Oh no, that's still what? gonna kill it. It's still well, gonna die because it's opposing. Ah, shit. And that did not. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. It's, it's, fine. Okay. it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, losing this fight is okay, actually, all things considered. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The both Sure, sure, sure. Ow. Uh. Oh, I will say, I will mention, the pelts can be used for blood sacrifice. Blockers. Oh, they can be sacrificed, can yeah. they? I didn't know that. Blood in them. Uh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And believe me, you'll need that for this fight, because he's mm -hmm. a fast guard. Uh. No, oh, shut up. Uh, I'll save that for a moment. I think I still lose this though. Uh, no, not quite. You're you're on the cusp. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I still. I think I still lose this overall. Yeah, you don't have enough to. I cannot sacrifice Wolf Pearl. Oh, I thought you could. Dang it. I be <laughs> get it. Mm. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, we just die. We get a B. <laughs> we get but, a B though. <laughs> yeah. Alright. It's fine, friend. Uh... We're about to get snap happy up in here. I don't want anybody else. Every time I bend you, I touch my hill. I, I don't want anybody else. Oh no, oh no. A uh, short while longer. I would like a memento. No camera. Shit. Excuse me? There's no camera. It was there to. Oh man. Does he not always forget? I guess. Fair enough. You got the wool pulled over your eyes. Uh, do I have to beat the encount? Do I have to lose to his like loops for us to actually get the camera option? Uh. No. Mm. Fine. River. All right. Uh, power and health. The numbers. Um. Oh, if you get the one blood wolf. Yeah, one blood wolf's pretty solid. And then effects, and bifurcated's pretty good on that. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Plus, it transforms. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we need a name. We need a name. Oh. Okay. Um, do we do we ask chat? Hmm. Chat, any? I would <laughs> love to ask chat for a name. Hey chat. Hey, hey chat. What's your name? What's your name? I'm sure. I'm sure one of you got the name going. Let me know. Let me know what name. What name we calling them? Or else uh, I can. I can. I can just. Or Ruben will name them. You know. I I, I can workshop something. It'll Come and go, Tyvan is having an inkling of an idea. Let's hear them out. Let's hear them out. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll hold off. I'll hold because this is a committee, right? This is. Igor, not... since our eye is missing, that makes sense. Igor. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Death awaits, indeed. Wait, wait, what? I thought we were just playing D and D. If your level one barbarian loses, dies in the game, you die. You die in real life. Oh well. Ah, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What what becomes of the uh, film reel? Uh, ooh, you might want to check your little cuckoo clock. Hmm. Just in case. Wait, uh, hold on. We just have it. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. <laughs> that foul, stunted wolf. Oh, this is our opening hand. Our yeah. opening hand is mediocre. You really no. want such a creature in your deck? The sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dealt, so it stands. Cool. His eyes is close is more close mm. now. You see that? Yeah, 
uh, I guess, worn down, a little disappointed. I was going to go with a Marty Feldman reference from Rung Frankenstein because of the bifurcate. Ah! I see, I see. All right, we've got Ada, Beaver, and actually, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, Beaver, though? That's a really good, that's a strong one to hold down the fort. Really? Yeah, because check the... I guess it's a good defensive ability with the two health blockers. But it feels like it fills up a lot of my play space. Uh, which, it does do mm. that. It's 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 a emergency thing. Mm -hmm. But if you're if you're looking for like a more offensive thing, then the adder is like, it's yeah, death oh, death touch is mad solid. <laughs> that because and I'm thinking because like this this motherfucker introducing like seven health cards, right? Mm -hmm. What does health what does health mean to the poison? To death touch, sure, makes yeah. sense. I like. I want to use the mirror card because the mirror will clearly let me deal as much damage as the thing I'm facing is. I I I, I assume that is what that does. Um, so we're strengthening. We have item. We've got our items back. We can lose our eye again if we really wanted to. Not really. Um, and we also have uh, the totem. Yeah. Hmm. As you start out, always start out with the squirrel head, so you can always upgrade your, mm -hmm, upgrade your mm -hmm. skill squirrels somehow. I'm just wondering whether we want another... We can get two card upgrades on the left-hand side. That's... yeah. That's and true. I don't really want to do an elite with the shitty deck, so let's... Uh... That's true, true, true. No go call. Oh! Very good. That was a little fuzzy this time. The crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. But perhaps the creatures will join us? Enhance its health, said another. <laughs> I mean bullfrog. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creatures' health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling and made a hasty retreat with their bullfrog. Okay. <laughs> this is my toad, you can't have it. Mm -hmm. I need him for my burger. Toad with four health is actually not shit. <laughs> toad with two health was awful. But enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why, why do you look like a weird woman? Mm. I thought you well. were a stink bug. Well. Oh, that requires two sacrifices, I see. Uh, Ooh, deals one bad. damage split is actually not a huge worry. Hmm. But we do want to get something on the field immediately. Do I just open that squirrel just so I can get the adder onto play, or is that too is that too hasty? Uh, too hasty because if you play the adder, um, well, actually no, because it's gonna go yeah, to either it, side. It won't, it won't kill the yeah, adder. Yeah, it won't hit the opposing one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good play. And mm. you can always get um, like your items replenished. Mm -hmm. And then we have enough for stink bug. Cool. And the uh, wise words, the wise wise words, the insane clown posse snake <laughs> them. Oh, it moved. Rude. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's, that's fine. Goodbye, Edgar. Hmm. God. You took the film role. Is that correct? Oh, he's got a moustache now. I might fear this moment of truth. But you must defeat him first. Ah. Uh... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we are going to sacrifice you. Are you sure? Get out of here. Oink. And you just won. Mm hmm. Boom, boom. All right. Moving on. Oh, you can check the skull, by the way, for some extra cash. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In each loop. That's right. We have the river otter, the ringworm. Once again, uh, I, I mean, ringworm, that was a fun time. But Ringworm literally did nothing even after we upgraded the bastard, so let's not. I, I can't, I can't 
uh, like keep memeing when look at the drawing for River Otter. or look at how cute that is. Mm -hmm. okay. And River Otters are terrifying, terrifying creatures. They are bloodthirsty motherfuckers. They will, they will smash your bones on rocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Turkey Vulture is just bad, but it is it is a reasonable sacrifice target. Give something flying later. Boom, 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 boom. Consistent summons. Especially at this stage when we don't have many cards. Oh, yeah. More, More attack! Oh, yeah. <laughs> like it. What you thinking? Hmm. Are we just gonna make Bullfrog MVP? <laughs> uh, three, three, two for one is actually very, very good. It's true, but Toad Run though. Uh huh. The Firewall has stunted health, and the house is power. Less than pure. So we were like, nope, bye. Uh, see you. And we fight. Mm -hmm. Get your Yu-Gi-Oh. What what are they called? The the arm thing. Dual discs. Yes. Dual disc, yeah. A wolf cub. Oh, if you put mm. the river out of there, then yeah, it's uh, it's just gonna duck for cover. Mm. Yeah, so it does mean it does mean though that uh, oh no, it's fine. I guess it means when it attacks back, it will go over its head every time, which is actually not great. Um, Wait, what do you mean? Because the, the diving effect, you attack over diving things. So when it's not my turn, it's as if there's nothing in that slot, uh, yeah. which can be a problem if something can hit quite hard. And that's going to turn into a thing that does three damage in a turn. So I'd rather put something in the way that can kill it now. <laughs> but, I mean, um, if we, if you sacrifice a squirrel for the... If you play the other and it goes the next turn, it won't evolve until the turn after that. Mm. And it's gonna just gonna go for a swim, and mm -hmm. there will be no deaths. Swips over, and then we get hit for one, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we hit it back to kill it. Sure, uh, we yeah, want. And it stays, uh, it stays unevolved for one more turn. Mm -hmm. That alpha though, that alpha, that's an annoying card. Yeah, no, that needs to die immediately. <laughs> alpha is really, really difficult to fight because it makes everything else stronger. But this will die immediately, so that's call in the big toad. Go away. Oh. Two health. Uh, it doesn't let's... even look like an alpha. It looks like a, a like a tw ver like a like a wolf version of a twink. <laughs> look at that. Uh, it looks a bit ragged for sure. Yeah. Bye. I... You oh, don't get man. to do bonus damage. I thought, it, I thought it was a sigma male, but then I got poisoned. <laughs> Uh, yeah. River Otter can probably be flipped out for a three damage card, I think, at this point. Mm -hmm. And the, yeah. the mole's gonna kill itself on the adder. Mm -hmm. There you go. How fun. Clean. Clean. Clean kill. No animals were harmed in the production of this one. Do we want to fight an elite? Not really. <laughs> Oh, come on, live a little. My deck's still bad. I don't have a card that I'm like, yes! Yeah, aside from the adder. So uh, let's go and uh, see what we've got here. Give me a... I don't have any bone cards in my deck yet. Mm -hmm. You only mm. have a sink buggy. Hmm. Cody, fine. Ugh. Gas for a freebie. All right. What are we sacrificing, lads? Death uh, touch on something better might be good. Yeah, I'm thinking it. Put it on the toad. Put it on yeah. something with the the biggest HP. Mmm. Oh man, Bye. toad indestructible. Looked more like a messed up doe than a coyote. Yeah, it's no, very bizarre toad looking. More like toad, more like goat. <laughs> Greatest of all dungeon. Of, of all toads. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Okay, Once you go through the first area a handful of times, you do start kind of like, all right, yeah, now we know what we're doing. We're just going to yeah, keep yeah. pushing. We, we, I know the dance by now. Let's just, just, you know, let me, let me get at the, the, the tanner again. <laughs> do not lick the toad that has death touch, says chat. Yes, <laughs> I agree. You turned bullfrog into one of those yellow poison dark toads that kills you by looking at you. <laughs> 
Uh, we're gonna take this. I'm gonna do a hit and a hit. Coyotes. That's, mm. too many. That's too many hounds of hounds of war. <laughs> it's fine. I'm surprised that death touch is when it attacks and not as reverse attacks at all, which is a, a surprise. Yeah, I think that the porcupine has that like reflect damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me again. I concede. All right. Oh, oh. Thank you. Don't waste my time. <laughs> You're approaching me. Uh, this is... Oh, yeah. Pelts. I do not have any pelts for you. Give me money. Oh, yes. Big cash. He almost said give them to me. <laughs> you're, you're slipping. You're slipping. You got your mm. act. Uh, you don't got your act. All right. With Carver. Yep. Yeah. All right. How are we making our squirrels big? Big squirrel by swim big squirrel, big fly big squirrel. squirrel. The swim squirrel is stupid because their father, yeah, they're, fly they're squirrel makes more sense, I guess. Yeah, I mean, going for insect head good. would be great if I had any good insects, but I do, yeah. Not. <laughs> but here's the thing now, your squirrels will just be flying, they won't block flying attacks. Mm. You just keep the, the, the flying squirrel, though. That's great. They're a flying squirrel. Good evening, Arismont TV. Uh, we are doing spooky card-based dungeon crawling. Um, since we have a new uh, person watching, let's go back, back to actually doing the voices and not skipping through everything. You passed a massive empty bowl surrounded by heaps of ident unidentifiable giblets and scantlings. It seemed the bowl was designed for a dog. But what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Where's that hound of mine? Great draw. Great draw. Carry on. <laughs> Easy, boss. Just oh, pop oh. that mule. Mhm. Mm okay. okay, we got we got the whole gang in one. Awesome. Do this. Where is that Kate Bush album, Hounds of Love? <laughs> I love this song that goes, if I could make a deal with God. Ugh, oh, they all do one damage. How shit. Uh. Stinky, stinky bug. Stinky, stinky. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. That only does one damage on, re on return, so it can actually survive that. Uh. Thinking. Hold on. Um, because I know that once we complete wave one, he essentially destroys my side of the field. So I don't want to give him too many of my cards too early. Um, and I kind of want to hold on to these as uh, other options if it comes to yeah. that. I think you can, like, um, grab When he dies at deck. any time. With three oh, health. That's what they called me in college. Okay, that's fine. This is going to do two damage, but I don't die, which is good. Um, I'm going to pull a card. Coyote for four bones. Stopping his own coyote or his other card from spawning in. Mm -hmm. And you can just gnaw and numb away at that pack mule. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the thing behind it? A wolf cup, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go and do... Uh, this. Yep. Destroy both of those. Pack mule is trapped. Wish, wish your cards had a little more, you know, the joie de vivre. Yeah, they feel they feel a little bit uh, underwhelmed by the adventures at hand. Card games and giblets. That's definitely what this game is, Arismont, for sure. Gimme cards. Mmm, delicious. Oh, an alpha. Oh, alpha. My mule in her back! Oh, heck. Uh, oh, I, I still have to pull a card, don't I? The bullfrog, cool. We are about to win, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna attack. Oh, yeah. 
And you got enough bones and freebies to, uh... Yeah, I can basically make whatever I want at this point, so we should be fine. There's gold in them cards! Oof. Oof. Gold! Abstract gold! <laughs> you have a really good Mario uh, pain sound. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do we just put big? I think it is time for... Uh, Proghorn, though. I Maybe. need an additional slot for you to be able yeah. to summon that. Ah, oh, heck. Mm. Um... Oh, you know what's funny? Mm. I think if you play your alpha, the rocks get attack. Oh, that's fun. Ha! Yes, yep. good. There you go. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. <laughs> this gold got hands. <laughs> Damn. Get <Yeah. laughs> Prospectors in California be like, damn, prostitutes gold nuggets got hands though. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do I want to put in its place? I could put. Oh, I need to. Oh, I need to draw a new card. Uh, this. Lines. I have. Oh. Because it now hits for three, and will immediately erase this dude from the face of the earth. Three. Bye. Bye. Loser. The gold that mines back. <laughs> Reignite. <laughs> All right, on to area two. This deck is not amazing, but we are yeah, persevering. Yeah. We need uh, we need to upgrade a lot. We need to find the trapper. Child thirteen. Hello. Mmm. Child thirteen is actually not bad. Uh, we can use it as a sacrifice engine, and it flies and does more damage. So that might be actually the the one. Amoeba. I looked at Amoeba and its whole like, oh, it can just randomly change into something else, uh, or it can change its ability to something else every turn. And I'm like, that seems unreliable. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this game actually, uh, like with the rogue, like you want reliability, consistency. Oh god, yeah. With yep. a deck this thin and an enemy that cheats this much. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Go go whatever route gives you the most cards out of it. Yeah, this guarantees new cards. Uh, what are we doing for? Um, I think we only have one. Oh no no, we have one slot going. Okay, that's fine. I get a little gift. Hmm. Mantis. Ooh, yes. Mantis is good. Yes, the OG. Uh, this is as strong as as many cards there are in my hand, which isn't awful. <laughs> Uh, let's go for Mantis. Absolutely. Mantis is a solid down. pick. Extra item. More goop. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Oh, black, oh, black goat. Oh, absolutely black, goat. black goat. Mm -hmm. Gives us the ability to summon something big. We have our uh, two blood uh, enemy, don't we? Uh, our two blood, like, pronged attack guy. I think that's permanently in my deck now. Alas, we meet again. Uh, wait, which one? The, like, deer that attacks to either side and moves on its own. We got it from yes. the pack mule. So I think we have it forever now, or does it go away? I think it only goes into your hand. It doesn't actually go into your deck. Ah, too bad, too bad. Yeah. Maybe we want to out-damage race this thing. Mantis is not good enough yet. It needs tempering. <laughs> improving. <laughs> we need to put this Mantis in the forge. Forge Mantis. So we're forge just gonna Mantis deal. Is a, is, is a Metal Gear Solid. Ha ha ha! Yes! <laughs> oh god, Adder. Annoying. No, you um, because you're gonna do five damage, and all you need is a squirrel, put a mantis in Oh, yeah, put the out. mantis where it attacks in two places, yeah, yeah. Damn, whoa, you got it. No no yeah. wonder the, the, um, that puzzle box, like, taught you how to kind of deal damage up to five quite quickly. Is, uh... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very nice tool. Mm -hmm. It's a little frustrating, but if you just read the book and think about it, you're like, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Do we want to set our values, or do we want to just pull a card at random? We got a black goat, so we can mm. afford a three, a three mm. cost. All right, the grizzly. Ooh. And we can turn that into something nasty later as well, actually. Hopefully. Yeah. And if we die, we might be able to use its stats in something gross. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I had that in one of my very first runs is that I had like the the, the aura light, the, like the 7-7 seven, seven card. Mm. And I oh no! Like, <laughs> I, had, I had that and I got it at zero cost. Oh so I, no! And then I found it again in the next playthrough. So and I kept just, making like, it bigger. Uh-huh. Unending, <laughs> unending guy. Mm-hmm. We have Big Mantis now. Big Mantis. Uh, not quite a god. Not quite a god. We can get it to Mantis God eventually if we have the right bits and pieces. Mantis Priest, and then mm. Mantis God, and then Mantis Non-Believer. Uh, we do actually want pelts for the fishermen yes. because then we can put them as dummy cards, dummy thick cards. I would, so I guess. I would actually... I would recommend holding, like buying as many pills as you can and holding onto them for the tra uh, the trapper. Because mm. it can be one pill, uh, one pill is one card. Mm -hmm. uh, bullfrog that evolves, I see. Oh god, blood toad. Let's do a bunch of things. Um, oh, what's the combo? Let's see that mine at work. Child 13. And now it's big! Yeah. What? I didn't know that! Yeah! That's awesome! <laughs> that's, uh, that's scary. I don't like that. Oh, look! I won! <laughs> One turn. Go yeah. away! <laughs> You're like a low ground. <laughs> Fuck! Damn it! Oh, I should have gone and got some extra teeth, but it's fine. Can I afford nine? Yeah, I think so. No, I need I need more uh, teeth for that one. Oh, go visit the skull. You haven't visited the skull. I can't because I'm not on the map screen. I forgot. Shit. I forgot. It's fine. Shit. Two and five. We can get three pelts though. A rabbit pelt and a wolf. Yes. That sounds good. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they're not. They're not exactly. They're not actually. I was uh, initially concerned about them being. Um, deck chaff like they just clog my deck and they're useless but actually they've proven to be okay um you, you keep meeting these guys like ah oh, still starving huh mm -hmm. too bad <laughs> do we make child 13 even bigger so it swings for three when it's awoken that seems want, solid yeah i want i want this child to become like child 69 <laughs> no, 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 that's oh, wait, a bad shit. call. No, that's, that's, oh, I didn't think about that. I just wanted the number to go up, but I didn't think about the two phrases. It's together. fine, it's fine. Super weird question, did you watch Smoke and Mirrors last year? The name sounds familiar, but no. Remind me what Smoke and Mirrors was, Arismont. It feels like it was a Netflix show. Oh, no, no, no. Smoke and Mirrors was the performance by Sasha Velour. Yes, I did go and see that last year, and it was very good, but I was unfortunately sitting um, somewhere that had, like, an unideal angle. Um, you were right behind me. <laughs> oh, ah, ah, you're somebody who knows my operator in real life. I understand. I understand. Okay. Unfortunately, Arismont, I do not recognize who you are in real life by your username. Uh, but I am glad uh, that you uh, also saw and enjoyed the show. Don't make it weird. Um. That connection. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's see if I can kill another elite in one turn. <laughs> no problem. Oh! Mmm, unideal hand. More bullfrogs, uh, huh? Oh, but this time they are... Wait, they just got the symbol they already have. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> okay. I want, I, want, I want you to, like, like, because the player character is just a hand, right? I want, mm -hmm. like, I want the hand just to put the cards down, point full fingers at the guy and go, you mm. stupid. 
<laughs> so uh, should I black should I black goat into grizzly? I am tempted to black goat into grizzly. I don't think you need to in this. But I don't think I need to. I think I can. I'm, I'm in a position where I can take some damage and be okay. Mm -hmm. So okay, uh, I think this, this fight isn't as scary as the red uh, framing makes it seem. Mm, mm, mm. I will uh, go into uh, Child 13 because it's one damage for free, and then just hope that my next uh, turn brings something good from the deck. And then if it doesn't, we can go into Grizzly, but. Taking one damage there is not a big deal. Love hanging on a card that sounds like a radio ad song. <laughs> Lucky draw. All right, let's go. Let's fucking go. Damn, look at it. Look at child 13. It's so it. big. Beefed up. I oh. never. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, shit. The trees. <laughs> the tree attacks now. Uh, Let's see. We're going to pick a scroll, and then we're going to summon for three and deal a fuck ton of damage. Hell yeah. Gonna... I think you want to... I'm gonna kill the um, alpha in it. Um, you, I th I'm thinking... Look look at uh, what's coming behind the second bullfrog. Oh, uh, Rathala. Hmm. I think... You're gonna want to put this grizzly on the left side and go for mm. the overkill. Mm. Uh, let's put you here. Grizzly. Sacrifice all of these. Poor Grizzly and attack for four in the line. Ugh. Ow. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do I lose? Hmm. Oh, yeah, you got you got options. <sighs> Oh fuck. Oh god damn, what did I do? If it comes down to it, I'll steal a dude. Alright, you have to hook. Oh my god. Steal steal the alpha. Make mm -hmm. make squirrel Big squirrel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, annoying. Um, oh, no, nah, we're fucked. <laughs> we oh, fucked shit. it. <laughs> we fucked it. We ain't got nothing. We ain't nothing. Hold on, we can survive. I can, I can remove an eye to keep the fight going. You can remove but... an eye to win. Is it yeah, me? yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> you don't think? Listen. I would I would rather do that and then gain an additional item slot for the future actually. Mm -hmm. So uh <laughs> the guy's like holy shit, why'd mm -hmm. you do that? Give me the spooky eye, thank you. There you go. Hell Damn. yeah. Imagine you're like GMing for someone and I <laughs> just remove their own eye because they don't yeah, like the yeah, outcome yeah. of the fight. <laughs> yeah. They just, just kinda like pull out pull out a knuckle and mm. just carve like a better die out of it. Have right you brought me fine pelts? There we go. There we is. did. Hair pelts. We have two oh, hair shit. pelts. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, look at that. Mm. We got um Ooh, this is a tough one. I'm a little underwhelmed by these sets. Moosebuck, maybe? You do got that black goat. Mm. I've kept it floating for a reason. Alright. And then we get a second one because we have a second pelt going. Uh, uh, porcupine skink. skink. Oh yeah, skink is the bonus blocker. Yeah, it is useful. Mm -hmm. It's kind of useful in the pinch. And then we have one wolf pelt. A wolf. A cat. Oh, look at him. Mmm. Invincible cat that makes things weaker, but we already have something that can be an infinite sacrifice target, so we don't need it. That's true. Um. um uh, 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 kind of the... elk that, that buffs ants. <laughs> so we've got a raven that spawns bees. When you play, it makes an ant in my hand. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Ants still require a sacrifice to make, though. Um, which is... Oh, 
Oh shit! Oh shit! We got water ants. Mm. Oh no! no that, that's that's too much. Mirror for bones is pretty good. Uh, I think I might I take that. The the because mm. it yeah, makes it as yeah, strong yeah, as the thing that I'm fighting. It is a stoat indeed, or a small. The magpie. Do you, do you know the what the the magnifying thing does? Oh, it let's check. Let you draw a card. Any card. Oh, search deck for any card. Yep. Uh, and it flies, and it gets in the way of attacks for me. Okay. So as long as I can play it, I can dig through my deck for a card. Mm -hmm. Actually, all right, that's fine. Let's go take that. Yeah. So imagine, effects. imagine, like you can just play it, look for black goat, and then boom. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fish for wind conditions. Push is bad. Push is bad, but who are we? Mm -hmm. Oh, we can make someone tail split for something might be okay. Uh, or diving. Oh well, shit! What if we gave diving to Mantis? It huh. never dies. Yeah, it would never die. It would just keep hitting for a large amount. Uh, very reasonable. Very reasonable. This is now a scary ass mantis. This, this, this mantis can fuck you up. <laughs> so this mantis hits for four every turn and does not get revenge attacked. You ever, you ever had that like an encounter with a like a mantis just out there, just in the in the grass or like on the like on the street, whether on the street a mantis? But, you, know, <laughs> you see a random ass mantis and they just think they got a chance, so they mm. like. Get their claws Square out. Square up. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. What okay. you first mistook for a misshapen boulder appeared to be a hulking man. You attempted to sneak past him, but your foot made contact with a metal bucket. I am the angler. You are the fish. And we need to use this opening turn to make as many things as possible, uh, because we really want freedom in terms of what we uh get to put together mantis is already just out here uh which is great we love that for us as long as the um, as the hook icon isn't showing up then you, can, mm. uh, you have some some breathing room i think so let's scroll down sacrifice that for mantis mantis will attack twice uh we're gonna put you oh my god you just Skip to phase one, phase two. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Bye. Oh, also, like, if Sam Mantis is submerged, can he, like, grab it? Maybe. Maybe. We don't want to fuck with it to find out. <laughs> yeah, I love finding out. I just don't want to. <laughs> just don't want to fuck around. Go fish. Well, hmm. I guess we never trigger that trap, huh? That shark never turns into anything. Um, the chum bucket. Let's. Hmm. Okay. All skin. You can. This is fine. It's Moose Buck is for three. The Bone King for to make the play the skink, then you have enough bones to play Stink Bone. Oh, we win! Bone. We win now! It's fine. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Because then it's not in that lane anymore. We just put Moose Buck in this lane. <laughs> and then immediately takes another five damage and loses. Um, oh, actually, guaranteed win. Alright, cool. Sink or swim and get some money out of it. Go fish. Get fucked. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> well, that wasn't much of a boss, it, was it? You'll not perish quite yet. Yeah, tough talk from someone who got fucked up by tiny little mantis. Mm hmm. Gimme. Gimme cards. Gimme good cards. Amalgam. Mm. It is all. Oh. It is all types. That's scary. This is a 3-3 three, three for two, which is not terrible. An amoeba. And a long elk, the long elk returns. <laughs> Excuse me? The long elk really doesn't feel like a good card, but it's very funny. It's... <laughs> it's just, it's just some silly thing. 
Uh, Amalgam, Amalgam's too yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Three, three for two is a very solid pick. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's keep marching. Uh, marching into the frost zone. Mm -hmm. Frost zone act one. Oh, we get we get deck thinning, which is good. Uh, we get trapper over or there. You get the item refill. Hmm. The item refill is actually probably pretty useful at this point. Hmm. Yeah, it's a snow line. You got no life. You got. Yeah, I, I think I'm out everything. So I do have an extra life going, but let's go and let's go and get some teeth first. Let's go get some teeth. And I have used all of this dude's teeth now. All right. Oh, teeth! I thought you said tea. Is it because you're? Because I'm so used to you actually just saying. Incredibly British. Tea. Yes, all the tea. No, not specifically uh, because you're British, just because you get teeth for yourself sometimes. <laughs> uh, for attack, I think sigils is pretty, pretty. Four bones to insta kill one of your dudes ain't bad. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's the middle one? So uh, it's pulling three cards with sigils, which I think uh, we'll manage. Three sigils, yeah, done. Boom, <laughs> Easy. Gimme. And it's child 13 for, uh... Oh my god. Corpse maggots that make bees. Infinite elk. Infinite elk! <laughs> the, that's the longest elk you'll get. Uh... It is an infinite sacrifice target that does actually deal damage. Not awful. Not awful. Yeah, and if you manage to play it and it's got some sturdiness, then you can just keep... Mm -hmm. Sacrificing it for things, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so that's when your hand's automatically played in its place. So if this is in my hand, it comes into play for free. And it doesn't cost me five, it costs me nothing. Uh, but it has to com perish by combat. Mm. Yeah. And it does spawn a free bee too. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have enough health to sustain bees being a sensible option, I think. Let's go for elk. Yeah, true. Let's get, it. Let's get infinite elk. Infinite mm -hmm. elk. Infinite elk works. Just summoning <laughs> antlers behind me, scissors. Scissors is so good. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Difficult choices. Black goat. Scissors? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, Frozen opossum is a really good card. Mm hmm. Have you had those before? Yeah, yeah, where it's a blocker and then turns into a sacrificable target that can yeah. attack for me. All right. Cool. Battle. 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 Are you ready for the next battle? Next battle. <laughs> what we got? We got child 13 up in here. We can already start dealing okay damage. Oh, you. You, the bastard. Oh, give him. Oh, we got Bullfrog, though. Exactly. We got Bullfrog, give though. Moosebuck meets Bullfrog of... Ah, uh, it has to wait until our turn, so we just need to make sure that it's around first. Yeah, I, I, would, I would wait with um, summoning the bullfrog until after the mm -hmm. uh, the moose pup moves. What we are gonna I, do though is uh, this. I think we get in trouble. And then we're gonna do this. And then win the fight immediately because we deal six damage in one turn. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, big, big brain play! No, no, no. Upgrade. This is why you upgrade your children. <laughs> upgrade my children. Uh, we have a duplicate in our deck, huh? Uh, also, I think you should, like, a visit to the, um, the carving woman would be good. Just to make, maybe, get the, like, the top right. Oh, for another totem. A better totem yeah. head, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe, yeah. maybe turn your squirrels mm -hmm. into, like, Cooler guys. Mm. All right, friend. What you got for me? It's, it's Two of the same kin. We're not getting that. Risk That's risk. very likely. Yeah. Let's get this. Absolutely. What? Oh, oh, two, oh. three on its own. Oh. Three on its own. There we go. Beautiful. Oh my god, thank you. Blood Black elk. Blood elk. Oh, it's so Bone weird. shark. Elk. Elk fauna drops its tail. That's so elk fauna that drops its tail and evolves is actually, that seems actually not good. No. 
Uh, blood elk, I think, is probably the most sensible thing. I'm getting elk deck. You're getting all the types of elk. Mm -hmm. what, if, what if we got Pokemon, but every Pokemon was elk? Elk. Elk at you. <laughs> elk Fornheimer. I mean, jo Joe's going for different picks to me, and I understand that. It's fair and reasonable. <laughs> Uh, we can be snakes or bugs or infinite. Ah, oh my God. one oh, screw, infinite. Oh my God, we just you just won, Nate. Nate. I I, I mean, mean, yeah, that's 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 good. That's very good. That's very good. <laughs> okay. He's looking at the at the totem like, no, no, please don't, <laughs> please don't do that. <laughs> Uh, if this scroll is very powerful, but also dangerous. Yeah, because it can clog up my field if I do it wrong. So there is a, there is thinking it through. Um, it's putting it in harm's way, knowing it will die by combat, but also using it as a sacrifice target. So I have to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Infinis... Infinite Squirrel is very funny to me. Okay. The little brother of Infinite Elk. Okay. So we're going to put that here. And then we're going to sacrifice it to put that down. And then we're going to sacrifice it to put that down and win the fight immediately. Just win. This is, this is disgusting. <laughs> Calling back to classic Magic the Gathering Squirrel decks, I know, right? <laughs> this is this is turning out to be a squirrel tribal deck. Nascent fawn. It's bad. Oh, whatever. We have more moose buck. <laughs> Giant. Are you gonna go for hmm. small elk, smelk, or smelk. large elk, lelk? I mean, we want to we want to start summoning the moose bucks, right? That's true. Hmm. And hopefully, we might be able to fuse them together in the future, and then that would be that would be good. Uh, I don't need a totem, but the fusion is up there. Uh, true. There's a, there's a campfire to the top left, I see. Mm, mm, might be more good cards. For one. Yeah. Upgrade, okay. Upgrade. What, what do we got? Pushing is not super great, but we want these things because they're strong. Um, Skink, I think, can be, can be moved on for something else. You two have not really been pulling your weight in a way that I would personally like. Um... <laughs> Shift Grizzly. Actually... Mm, I might make these a little stronger. Or well, more persistent. Yeah. Mm. Go for it. Gave me a tail just to cut it off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, elite battle. Let's see if we can get another one-turn kill. Cool. Oh, don't get, don't get. Diz shift. One. Oh, no, we're not gonna get cocky. <laughs> Two. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here we go. All right. Uh. Did you just win? Not immediately, but we do have we do have some we do have some players. Some big time plays for the big time players. Big brain play. Big galaxy. Uh, to make the elk. And then I can sacrifice the elk to uh, put down this. And immediately attack the three. There you go. Oh, yeah, and it's gonna block. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh... I'm gonna draw a card. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna wanna... Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna score... Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Not what I meant to do. I wanted this, please. Thank you. Is it still... Okay, the scissors do go back. That's good. Mm-hmm. And this is fine. We can... Hmm. Uh, we're gonna some girl. Hmm. 
Was, what the, was that what we needed? It's fine. It's a free blocker this turn. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get enough uh, blood to get the grizzly up. Mm. Like... We take two damage if I don't do anything, but we're leading so heavily that yeah. I think I can afford to not play a card this turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, it didn't die. Ooh. Uh, draw a card. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. Yeah, with the oh, this oh, is this, this is this is still okay. This is still yeah, fine. Because now, now you won't take any damage. And I think Child Thirteen can survive mm -hmm. on that side. Yeah, yeah. Oh hell yeah! Bam bam bam. Uh oh, it's fine. Where did that possum come from? Uh, from the frozen oh, thingamajig. Yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Hmm. Uh, I think if you get a squirrel after this for the magpie and then get the mantis, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> bring out the mantis. Oh, shit. Oh, interesting. Ooh, okay, okay. Squirrel. Uh, so we play the squirrel. Yeah. Oh, squirrel then you don't want to leave the grizzly just yet. Yeah. I think you could just block. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's the best you can do right now. Okay. Uh, we take a lot of damage. Oh, that killed me though. Yeah, that killed me. Shit. I should have just summoned the, the thing. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, whatever. Um, not a big deal. We're a worthy challenge. We get a, we get a light back if we clear the fight anyway. Mm. Uh hmm. Elf, elf deck? Sure. But yeah, there it is. Okay, alright. Multi uh, additional multi target people's good. Mm -hmm. And then we can right. upgrade. <laughs> For more damage. Oh my god. Mantis, Mantis. What is our Mantis looking like? Our Mantis is at two. We can make it three. Yeah, like that means if you just play it, then you win. <laughs> it already dies anyway. Okay, right, cool. Hell yeah. We're playing a little risky, but we we still have we still have our scissors left, so we can um, very handily get something going. Yes, she mm -hmm. come here. Ah, yes, 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 okay. So we have our magpie, we have our bullfrog. Yes, very good. Uh, yeah, the trap itself is not a problem right now. Hmm. I think you can totally I mean, I can put that there as the sacrificial, or permanent sacrificial target anyway. Um, do I want to... Where do I want to put my bullfrog, though? Do I want to actually turn this into a, a trap or not? I guess I do. Oh, right, they turn into traps afterward. Oh, that's annoying. I can summon the magpie for Mantis immediately, actually. Yeah, that would make you win. I have to put it in the middle here, or I can cut that card away. No, 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 it's fine. If I put this in the... If I, uh... If I put this in the middle here, and then when the new card comes down, I slice it, right. then we should be uh, immune from... Wait, hold on. Before you do that. Oh, shit. Because we still have scissors going, so I can remove things that would directly attack it. Because if these turn into traps, then that's not a huge problem because they're not up against directly, are they? 
we we kind of uh attack before you it's it's gonna attack you when it comes to the play mixer before you're able to carve it up ah it's not strong enough oh no it'll flip upside down when it's turn ends right yeah duh okay cool okay okay we're fine we're fine <laughs> so fine <laughs> shit we're right we we doubt it we're doubting ourselves we don't need to ow uh, draw a card. And then just keep attacking with uh, the Mantis. Mm -hmm. The space, and you just, like keep winning. Because you're gonna outdo the damage that the, the one leaping frog does. Mm, true. Yeah, let's hold this turn and see if our understanding of the game mechanics pans out. Yep. And then ask the dealer if we can hit. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no, fine. that fired. Oh no. It didn't kill it. It didn't kill it. Wow. Wild. Only, only things on the opposing side. You know. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, no, we take those. We take those. Let's throw a card. Shard thirteen in the building. You can. You can now. Oh, actually, yeah, it's still the, the first phase, never mind. I'm gonna yeah, hold I'm fire playing. until next turn before I stop yeah. placing cards, because um, it's probably I'm gonna already, do... I'm thinking like a big shot, I'm already thinking about the money. <laughs> <laughs> big shot, big shot, be a big shot. Chad. Yeah. Hey, the newest oh, yeah, 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 no, absolutely. I've been, I, it made me re resume working on, um... Powerful cards, I only accept the finest pelts for them. Ah! Yep. So I... We've not gotten to this point before. Okay. So I now have to choose which cards to take, mm -hmm. and then the rest will fight me, I assume. Yes. I'm gonna take the, the four fours, they go away. I do not want them. Oh, Nathan, 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 if you take the river snap of the elk, and you just end your turn, then Mantis will win. Mm-hmm. River Snapper and the Elk. Oh, right, because they're big. Right, right, right. And you, you just deal in that bifurcated. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. The rest will stay and fight for me. It's, it's cheap, but honestly, he's, mm -hmm. he's just as cheap. Okay. Yeah. I would have chosen differently. Thank you for your patronage. Yeah, you would have. Cool. Um, take this. Huh. Yeah, Okay, well, just ding the bell, like, not even look at your cards, just like, ding, ding. Oh, oh yeah, because it's a six damage, I see. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I'm, I want I want to do overkill, so I'm gonna... It's not about the money, money, money. Oh, shit. It's fine. It's, it's fine. We can still, we can still work with this. Uh, this is two, this is one, okay. So we're gonna do this and this and then this jumps over there. This is now an unblocked source of three anyway. Oh, um, right. Thank you, Chomp 13. Coin! Loads of money. Oh, he didn't cheat. Oh no, because we've been through this before. So he's not, he's not made me, he's not made, he's not tried to cheat this one yet. L okay. B S E M O N E Y. What's that say? Loads of money, probably. <laughs> we do not need another child 13. Uh, I guess it's time for Long Elk. Long Elk has entered the fray. <laughs> the patriarch of the Elk family. <laughs> That's like, you get like a Yakuza style intro for Long Elk. Mm hmm. With the enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding in the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. Let me see. Oh. Oh. Um. Uh. Okay. This looks a little familiar. We have one item. Yeah, that's the outside of my house, isn't it? <laughs> that's the outside of the house that we're currently in. Your house. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna get a knock on my door and jump out of my skin. Um, <laughs> The, the, the mask, the guy, like, in front of your window. Mm-hmm. We actually have a few too many expensive items in our listing, I think, at this point. Um, mm, yeah, one of them is bugs, probably. Because we have the ability to fuse cards. 
and I'm like, what do I gain from doing that right now? If you Not... fuse your elks, they become infinite oh, blood uh, elk. Unfortunately, it's not that type of fuse. It's the sacrifice Shit. of... Okay, Sack blood elk. Think, yeah, maybe. Think about infinite blood elk, though. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Oh, you got it through. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to, yeah, I have to actively, I have to actively tab out of uh, inscription to be able to actually do anything in the chat. Congratulations! Um, Don't worry, everyone. Sack is now an allowed term. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So we can sacrifice the elk to give the three blood to something cheap, like uh, stone, maybe, um, maybe, or stink bug. Hmm? You can give it to child thirteen. Would that work? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. no! Amazing! Uh, um, uh, yeah, 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 shit, shit, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay, alright. Uh, this is, this is heinous behavior. About to, no, we can't. <laughs> it's not an option. Oh, damn it. Not an option in the list, not an option in the list. Okay. Um, so we can give death touch or push. Or move to something else. Uh, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give death touch to one of our one blood things. Okay, sounds good. I think that is a reasonable option. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe the something mm. with a little sturdy, mm, mm. with a bit more health to it. I think that's probably gonna be gonna be this guy then. Nice one. Death. Yes. Three damage and death touch seems like it'd be pretty good. Metal wolf chaos. <laughs> Metal wolf chaos. Is I am the president of the United States of America. That game is so wild. Richard, no, I... <laughs> uh, Richard Hawk, prime the vice president, who mm. is. I love that game because it's like, hey, there's there's a coup, and in one of the missions, they just randomly talk about, yeah, the vice president has start has, has uh, uh made the white slavery real. <laughs> like Such a, a white... it's a FromSoft <laughs> game, right? I yeah. think. <laughs> Wild. <of> Dark Souls. <sighs> Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's a warm light, a beacon in the impressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely, this cabin could be marked to the end of your travails. You say, let's party! Uh... But wait, what's your, um, what's your, what's your then? Um... Yeah. Well, I'm glad I got to the end of the dungeon crawler. Ah, uh, yeah. Look around you. We, we're, we're now our wooden figure, and we're now, we're now real, baby. A real baby. Oh. Isn't that nice? A little blood moon. Oh, it's the hand. Don't bite it. Feeds you. Steps away from the strange cabin, you were presented with an opportunity. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you're able to pass my trials, you'll be rewarded mightily. Okay. Trial of Rarity. Trial of the Ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. I don't know what this means. You I've, don't I've... have one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Trial of the Winged. Three so draw cards must have airborne. Ooh. We got Do I have a ring? Uh, I don't... Some I don't kind know. of ring would be great. On your What's finger, this? but literally you don't. I think your best bet would be the the wing trial. Yeah, maybe. And uh, we don't. I don't think we have any flying cards. No, we. You have the magpie. Oh, uh, we have. Yeah, the magpie being one card. We have a fair number of rarity because we have four rare cards. We get a rare card every time we finish a trial. Every, every every time we finish a boss, so we should have four. 
Um, too bad that was too good for that ring. Hmm. Ah, is I, I wonder if that's an anti-frustration feature. Like if we lost a whole bunch, we might have gotten an additional item or something along the lines of it. But we're too good at card games, so I guess we're just doing the rarity trial. Yeah. Like Joe, I would. I, would, I. Ah, shit. Oh well. I don't know what the where to get the ring. We we'll repeat once more. Oh, we get another try. It's the ring. It's the ring. Ah. I was. I ah. So the Swift, we actually have a lot of cards with that, so that yeah. sounds pretty good. Odds, so the skins. Ringworm, but I, I mean, that is a uh, yeah, very obtuse. I mean, this is that's the whole point of this game of roguelikes, yeah. right? Where you don't know that the card is useful until you realize that it's useful, and then you know for future loops. But Swift is pretty likely. Come on, shit. Is a Sprinter sigil. That works, right? Okay, it counts. It moves by itself. All right, fine. One of my most powerful boons. Dramatically alter the game. You don't even need to draw them. Okay. Oh. Oh, because we received one. Boon of the Magpie's Eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card from your deck to draw. Okay. Boon the Amber Dex, which you may draw it twice. Boon of the Forest, you may start a card with Grand Furs. On all of your spaces. I mean, I mean, being able to pull any card it helps us win our win condition very swiftly. Uh huh. Because all you need is mantis. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> all right. Are you okay. Ready to face it? There yeah. Is. Yeah. Hi. Hi. You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. Oh, the light went out. Uh. Hello? Please don't jump scare me. I'm not ready for that today. <laughs> How long? We've been going for five hours. Oh! Ooh, plot man. What's well, good, Tria? You took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Grandpa, fucking Grandpa Swamp over here. Are you ready to play? Hold on, I need a bathroom break. <laughs> we can only go forward. Yeah. I hope you are adequately prepared. <laughs> oh, we get the great smoke though. All right. Perhaps one more to be safe. But he gets a third life. All right. All right. He keeps holding the candle, which I really like. We get the infinity squirrel. And the blood elk. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, shit. Hmm. Smoke. Uh, thinking through my turn sensibly. Um, I think you want them all gone. Hmm. Six. Gonna, Get in the way a lot, yeah. yeah. That's fine. We're gonna do this. And then we're gonna sacrifice that for child 13. And then sacrifice child 13 for the wolf. And then I think we're good to go for now. And then next turn we draw Mantis, and we in there. Oh shit. You see the mask he's wearing? Mmm. But we get to pull any card we want from our deck. Where is Mantis? Mantis. I'm here, Master. So, unfortunately, doing this turns Child 13 back to normal again, but that is okay. I see. Because we're, we're still dealing 10 damage this round. Oh, hell yeah. And then you reset your, you reset your playing field when I kill you, right? 
You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures. The true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but coloured by guilt. They were betraying you. Mmm, <gasps> big stinky mm, back. I remember that one fondly. Okay, uh, what we're gonna go and do here? No, big stinky. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, we're gonna get our uh, bullfrog to enter the fray. Uh, don't play him yet, though. Mm -mm. Big stinky's gonna deal some damage first. Yes. Uh, so what I would like to do is take my free squirrel and put him there. Oh! No. Okay. All right. All right, all right, I see. Uh, we need Squirrel to do what we need to do. We're gonna put that down. We're gonna sacrifice the Squirrel for Bullfrog. Yeah. Ah, but there's no damage! <laughs> ah, I made him too good! I made him too good. Big oh no, I think I've walled myself now, but uh... You have to cut, uh, cut him up? Cut up Big Stinky? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can just do that. Bye. Sure. <laughs> Sen, Big Stinky. A comrade. Selfish hard shoes. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, let's look for my deck for options. I got bones enough. Mmm, we do have plenty of bones now. I just need something that hits like a truck at this point. Uh... Okay. Z with the raid of five. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Uh, we're about to get our asses kicked, I think. I don't think I'm in a good position here. Oh, you escaped oh, it. Oh, it escaped it because it moved the thing. Hmm. Fuck this game. Hmm. This game's so good. This game's so good. What do I pull? The choice is yours. Uh, yeah, we're going to pull that because it's something that I can safely put in this slot. All right. I don't know if all of you, are, if any of you are especially familiar. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, algorithmical and wishing for the future. Uh, I don't know if any of you are super familiar with inscription, but we are, uh, we're, we're making it happen right now, which is, uh, so many! Oh, watch out for Reginald. He's coming. I think we're gonna have to come out with the, uh... With the Grizzly, I think, at this point. Ah, I don't have enough sum summons to be able to sensibly do that. Hmm... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Pushes it. All right. All right.
Point three. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder. <gasps> I fight the moon? Fight the fucking moon. I fight the moon. Fight now that is value. Hey, um, fight the moon. All right, I'm gonna mm. fight the motherfucking moon. Yeah, we, we, we played. You played the Zerzer Rats. You fight the moon. You fight Majora's Mask. You fight the moon. Ah, ba 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 ba. that you want. I appreciate the fact that it's not dealing me any damage right now. <laughs> Stinky book. Mm, mm, mm. What, what the fuck? What are those fucking sigils mean? On the moon? Yeah, the, there's one. Oh, it's infinite now. Why? Oh, because it's a squirrel. Oh, because it's everything. It's technically everything. Man! Moonstrike. This card bearing the sigil, each creep. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It'll strike directly if no creature opposes it. Sure. Uh, at the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Small creature, okay. Uh, but it's dealing me no damage, so I could potentially write this out. It'd be slow. Yeah, no, as long as you got Stinky Bug there, you're good. What's this? Weakening my moon with the Stinky Sigil. <laughs> it makes no sense. Moons do not have a sense of smell! <laughs> this is not how I imagined this battle going. <laughs> you get fucked! <laughs> uh, jinx. Uh, oh my god. I, I mean, I don't, we don't even really need to pull cards at this point. For the... Yeah, because we're dealing, we're dealing optimal damage at this point. The only way to deal more damage is with the Grizzly, and I don't want to lose Stick Bug. Um, All right, let's go. You had to. Well, at least one of you got to have a seven-seven when you fought the moon. <laughs> we're, we're just we're just slowly pushing our way through at this point. It's fine. It's fine. Stinky. The moon is I love that the moon only does one damage. It's very silly. Nice top deck. Thanks. Kind of gave us a compliment. Yeah, we did. Uh... Yeah, is this how you foresaw? The final battle going, Mr. This, I mean, I was kind of waiting for this game to get very, very strange. And this game is strange, but not in the way that I was expecting here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, girl, you killed the fucking moon. You really, <laughs> really destroyed the moon? I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Uh, go on. Okay. Oh, it died before the end of my turn. Cool. Um, yeah, die. Perish. Fucker. And pay me for it. Oh, no, not even. <laughs> Enduring victory. Mm. Oh my, did I just... I think I just beat him. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I mean, when we booted the game, it was like, so let's see what's on this thing. So it's not a surprise that it cut to that, but, uh... Yeah, hey. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that was not... I'll, I'll tell you this. That was not the final boss. Oh, I, I'm, I'm fully aware that this game starts moving to other places, but I was waiting... I was waiting for this very specifically, I think. All right. Uh, how long have we been going? We've been going five hours, uh, five and a quarter hours, but it's fine. We're still in there. Yeah, uh, chat saying also, like, I, I also had a death touch card on the moon and it just killed it. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Don't call me out. Opening catch monsters pack. Don't, for don't do this to me. Transcend dog! Oh, actually, I, um... I actually kind of okay, hate uh, YouTube videos where they just open cards and they don't care about them as game pieces. They're just looking for rare things. That's not that's not how card games work. 
Mm-hmm. It's just like the collector's item. They just want to... The, the like, stop, stop making the cards like, super expensive for people who actually want to play the game. Yeah, Goddamn. Exactly. First rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Next pack. Feeling even You're better. You're not viable, the lucky carder. I mm-hmm. didn't say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, that's gross. They're so mm. smooth. Don't say that. I'm not sure what they're doing down there. Am I seriously yeah. just gonna watch this dude for a minute and a half be awkward? No, you're gonna watch him for a lot more. Hey, he's got more videos. Wow, you beat you beat the fucking moon. What's your reward? It becomes an FMV game. Absolutely. A draft cube. Okay, so he's familiar with this being a magic kind of deal. Mm-hmm. Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. I'm gonna get. A, a, well, we we'll, we'll wait for this to end, and then I will get myself a small snack. Uh, we're not vanishing. I just need to kind of reach out of range of yeah, like. Yeah. I get you, yeah. I get you. Okay. Oh. Hmm. How was that? Uh... Halloween party the other day, and I bought chocolates for that that we didn't all finish. So I have some boozy truffles, and then I also have some chocolate macaroons. Not macarons, Ooh. macaroons. There is a difference. Uh, oh but there we go. God, that sounds so fancy. Yeah. Macaroons are, macaroons are less fancy than macarons, I think, by a, by a solid margin, but they're definitely pretty tasty and gluten free because they're mostly coconut based. Okay, more pack opening. Hey card gamers i'm the lucky card hey there. this is a vintage pack opening mm. video today i'm opening a few super rare old packs i snagged at a garage sale i've got mm. four packs of inscription mm-hmm. you would what? not believe but me that's the game that we're now, mm-hmm. uh, you will even remember this game i'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards. I was barely old enough to see the inscription-based, them. like, uh, set of the morning cartoon. Anymore, <laughs> where there was this more, tree guy who really kept movies. killing squirrels. Really yes, I also played the Magi Nation video game. <laughs> <laughs> there were so many in the kind of, like, late 90s, early 2000s, so many kind of, like, a collectible card games that tried to cement themselves. Did you know that there was a Simpsons trading card game? For this pack is... It did, yes. I actually did know that. Cool looking mm-hmm. card, but not going to be worth very much. They really thought card games were the future, and mm. look at them now. They're and they like were to me. Game. Somebody else remembers yeah. Major Nation. I'm familiar with Major Nation via the internet, but it never really released in the UK, unfortunately, because the card up was interesting. There's also a neat Game Boy Color game that is tied with it that emulates, unfortunately, a little poorly. I should look into that, actually. Um, Since we've been streaming um, the Pokemon trading card game, Game Boy game. No, it was going to be one of the options to stream tonight, actually, but um, I I did a coin flip and went with inscriptions instead. Oh! Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. Drawn on with a pen inside the booster pack. Mm. I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. That's convenient. How do you know what your own coordinates are? The lucky card are simply now. If, if you if you ask me what my what the UK's like my city's latitude and longitude was, yeah. I would not be able to tell you. Yo, hey hey baby, what's your longitude? Mm-hmm. Also, okay. yes, sorry, Netmeric. Thank you for 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 hanging with us. I hope you have an uh, fantastic evening, and you've joined us on a. <laughs> Excuse me. I knew I would be really engaged by this game and play more than the say, three hours that I normally do, but I am uh, very happy with how uh, entrenched I have become with wanting to beat this shitty shitty dude. <laughs> uh, he's gone on an adventure. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. I'm out here, living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp <clears throat> and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. All right. Whew. There we go. 
Oh, so he's going to dig yeah. at this exact location, huh? Okay. Oh, that's an odd bone. Getting close. So we're setting ourselves in maybe the late 2000s where early YouTube was a thing, but we'd still have like mobile phones that look like that before smartphones, I guess. I think there was um, wait, there wasn't a mobile phone. It was like a coordinate tracker. Ah, like a digital one. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, cool. What's going on? All right. <clears throat> That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys. Ah, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. Every time. The lucky card here. You so come prepared. And dreamy. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna look something up in YouTube. That arrow was too much of a seizure warning for me to want to have to try and scan through that come and go tavern, but you raise a good point. Alright. This is it. Uh, if something was hidden in that, then I, I really don't want to try and uh, stare at that for too long or make you now, stare at it for too long. We did. Hey, uh, wow, that's cool. Guess what? Mm. The Lucky Carter is an actual YouTube channel. <laughs> Well, started. we might have to go and pay them a visit if we get stuck. But only one way to find out. Oh, that's. Oh yeah, this is this is from escape room into ARG, baby. Hmm. Well, is that? Let's see the remainder of these videos. Oh my god, you guys! I can't believe it. Let's see the remainder of these videos before we get in. I guess it does establish that the Lucky Card does have a YouTube account, so there's no reason why we wouldn't want to find that out. Did you know that already, or did you only look that up now? I just looked it up. Yeah. Mm. I, I've beaten this game, but I never really <laughs> had the idea to look it up. What? Yes, of course. Of course, this entire game is on a floppy disk. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Also, that magnetic tape case was like wide open. That is now unreadable. <laughs> You see that little big lump of dirt next to the magnetic disc? That ain't gonna be red for shit. <laughs> I wonder if there uh, were people who were playing this blind who were like, I don't know what that is. He found a little save icon buried in the ground. Wow, look at that. That's so neat. What a weird thing. Uh huh. Yeah, no, he's like on a, like a proper Windows. Uh, Emmy kind of error machine. This is clearly a period piece. Wow, great video. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, so he's looking for a floppy disk drive, I see. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Hmm. -hmm. By the way, then he found the card with the coordinates on it. He said that someone did opened it and resealed the pack. No, because it was written on pen. It was written in pen, so that makes sense. Uh, so I guess the people from the eBay entry. Actually, that's worth looking. That's worth looking up. But since we're going to be since we're going to be doing this, because he said that he found the packs online, right? Like he he no, was searching the inscription the inscription packs. He found at the garage sale. Garage sale. Okay. Hey, that's, that's the game we're playing. Well, that's the game we're playing, and they also can't start a new game. Wow. That's why you could do new game. Hmm. Because this is the exact same... Oh, right. And uh, this is where we pick up when we play the game, because he's like, ah, oh, let's go find out what this is. Although... 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 Uh, you die in the game a bunch of times. Um, and he acknowledges this because he's like, oh, I beat the game. So clearly it's not him dying in real life. No, it's no, the no, dying no. In, in, the, in the space. Okay, all right, yeah. hold on. Hold on hold From on. this moment on, you realize like, oh, like what happened in the game is like, that is... The way that that game is supposed to be played. Yeah. In, in a game and then the camera is pulled back a layer. Mm -hmm. No, I, I guess I was just wondering if... 
um, whether the people who were dying in the game were people who were playing the cursed video game and it's being found by other people. But because it pulls back out and he's like, oh, I beat it, clearly it's people within the game who have died and not him outside the game. Do you get what I mean? The, yeah, I, 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 get, I get it, but it makes you wonder who is, uh, who is Casey. Hmm. And who was very, very, very annoying, very annoying YouTube for me to look up the Lucky Carter and then it goes Lucky Carter ARG. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> hey there, card gamers. I'm. Why, why would they ruin it like that? That's actually really, really annoying. Um, so there are a handful of videos here. Uh, all of them are actually pretty short. So we are in a position to go. I guess I guess we're doing this now. I guess we're doing this now. Hold on. I will I will say I'm looking at this the previews and they show off sections of the game you haven't gotten to yet. Mm. So you might be spoiling stuff for yourself. If ah, you okay, okay, go okay. Into the all right. Too soon. All right, all right, all right. Fair enough. Well, we've seen all of these. Uh, I guess we back out. Stop browsing footage. Yes. I would love to. Oh, we go back. We're back to live now. We're back to me, live. Me, me, me. I do not celebrate often and I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. Is something wrong? Your prize awaits. Mm. Very well. Come with me. Stand right there. It seems to be like a pile of raw me camera. I don't like the. Ugh, I, he's so creepy. Camera. Who gave you that? You absolute ingrate. Give it back. Hey. The new get. Well, that's a large number of bodies of people who have previously failed. Yep. Don't worry about it. Hey. His card. Hello, guard. Hey. Neato. Oh, yeah, because these are all the previous people. Cool. Uh, I can't... I can't interact with the handle. So I guess... I guess... Uh, we get to... I'm sorry that I don't get to bring you with me in my adventure. That would be fun, but I guess... I guess we go. It's dark in here. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that it's dark in here. It's very unnerving. Mm -hmm. uh, in a way that I don't... This didn't feel like a jump scare game, but, uh... Alter deck. Hmm. If you, uh... You picked up a new icon, so what if you go back to the main menu? Start screen. Hmm. So now we get to see the origin of inscription, huh? Mm -hmm. Fuck, hold on. But I will say it's it's bedtime. It's really late. It's really late. It's half past midnight. It's really yeah. it's half past midnight, so I think now would be an excellent time to go and stop oh, playing. Hold on, hold on, I'll just go back to the go back to the screen over there. Let's quit for now. Uh, we did a lot. Uh yeah, no, that really that really like um that really caught me, you know. I was I was expecting it to go and capture my be like, oh my god, I, I can't stop thinking about this game kind of energy. But I'm uh, I'm very glad that uh, it was engaging for all of us. And thank you everybody for being um, sticking out uh, and and uh, and uh, you know uh, how, like sticking with us while we go do this. I am filibustering while I am uh, working out who we should go raid. Um, I think Jonathan there is about this evening. Uh, Jonathan is a... Oh, thank you very much for the follow, Cosmic Potato 59 uh, Jonathan is a, a very good friend 
uh, of mine and Will's, a very, very good friend of Will's, uh, who is an illustrator. Um, hi, Cosmic Potato. You joined us just as we were about to go and wrap up for the day. Uh, but I'm about to pass you on to a fantastic friend of mine um, who does, uh, he's an illustrator and has recently been doing illustration work in a children's um, art program called Kid Picks. Um, so, it, you know, uh, doing professional modern era uh, style artwork using a really rough program from the 90s designed for children. And I must say, his artwork absolutely whips. So what we're going to do is that we're going to pass us all over to them. Let me, uh, good. yeah, it's a whole thing of, uh, ah, there is no H in Jonathan. I should probably know that. There we go. There he be. Start the raid. Fantastic. Um, thank you so much for joining us all. This has been a fantastic time. I hope you are all going to have a fantastic uh, end of your day and uh, weekend. I have been your androgynous Android Game Show host from the Future Caster. Uh, this has been the absolutely fabulous Ruben. That was me. Hello. Peace. And we will see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>